everyone, are we working? It seems to be working. Good news. <laughs> it's time for breakfast. Um, yeah, th there's been a few little technical difficulties in getting started, as is always the way. Um, for some reason, there may be a bunch of different failrace servers up because I think I think every time I tried to make a server, it made one, and then I immediately got disconnected. Regardless, I'm currently in a server. We will see how it's all going to do, if it's going to behave itself, I am not 100% sure. But, fingers crossed, it will work. Fingers crossed, it will. I can't guarantee anything, but we shall try. Uh, yes, we are here today. We are going to be uh, racing on this wonderfully wacky game. There will be some sensible racing. There will be some silly racing. Uh, some of it will... I mean, some of it will become a battle of attrition, some of it will just genuinely be good, close, fun racing. We shall have to wait and see how it all transpires, pretty much. Uh, now, this session is free for anyone to to take part in. I mean, it's a bit of a lucky dip at the moment if you can get into the right lobby. But this is a public lobby. You are welcome to join it as the evening goes on. Uh, if it is full, you can you, know, you can join whenever there are spaces. If you drive like a complete plank, you will be removed. Jesus, my computer is loud. Uh, <laughs> it was a very loud wool alert. Uh, Christ, why is my computer so loud? I don't know. Obviously, whatever I was watching was quiet. Bloody hell. Thank you. I mean, thank you, Stu, for the very kind donation. Um, God, dear. But that Woolala was unnecessarily loud. I uh, saying, did you know that engineers have been able to make a car run on crushed parsley? They are now confident of being able to make buses run on time. <laughs> you are getting a boo. You are getting a boo from me. Probably from chat. Let's be honest here. Uh, you are probably getting a boo right there. But I do thank you for the for the donation and scaring the crap out of me. Anyway, yes. Uh, no complete driving like a twat. Um, there's going to be bumps and shunts and trading of paint along the way. Uh, however, if you are torpedoing cars from a million miles back, uh, you know, and generally being a nuisance, you're going to be removed. At the end of the day, if you try and torpedo a car from a million miles back, all you're going to do is take yourself out as well. They generally don't go very well in this. And we don't want that kind of racing. Yeah, there's going to be bumps. There's going to be contact. It's breakfast. However, don't be a twat. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty much uh, it's pretty much the best the best way to go. Drake, thank you very much for the uh, donation. So, yeah, Limerick to begin with. Uh... Buses, two buses, they all must dash. And, and going quite fast, some some may do bash. Uh, Glis Gliska does grin while Crane goes for the win, as the others make certain that Alex does crash. Yeah, probably going to happen. I don't even think they have to try. Let's face it, they don't really have to try, but certainly when we're doing some of the wackier races, uh, it's very easy for things to... Um, for things to go spectacularly wrong, shall we say. Uh, there, are so, there are certain... Uh, vehicle events that will um, that will take place that will go mad. This, I mean, Pine Hills Raceway, pretty good track. We're racing sensible cars. You've got B-class cars to start with. Um, so, sensible selection of vehicles. I mean, the good old, the Hammerhead RS, a vehicle that I like, a vehicle that I know is relatively, um, relatively fast and controllable as well. Uh, Eagle R, I think that can be quite quick. Um... I do like I do like the Eagle R. Um, we've got the stock car is generally fast but incredibly weak, uh, so that is a brave choice. Uh, it can be very quick, but it does get broken quite easily. Uh, the rest are f all fairly straightforward. El Matador tends to be a bit of a stronger car. Uh, we will see. Oh, we are we are going to be uh, to be off, and we are going to be underway. I am a fair way back on the grid. Sometimes actually around this track, you know what? I don't mind that. Uh, I don't, I don't mind this whatsoever. Uh, so yeah, I will sneak around the outside of some stuff at turn one. There's some mayhem on the inside. I probably don't want to be in the middle of a three wide. Yep. Well, if you're going to come across and you're driving a Nexus. What's going to happen is you're going to get turned across the nose of someone. Uh, <laughs> uh oh, I was looking at donations and I've had all that. Thank God, that's a destructible bit of scenery. Uh, <laughs> thank you for the distraction wool allures that have gone on. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to blame... <laughs> I'm gonna, but it is technically true. I did glance at the wool allures 
and uh, I did end up then having an accident. Uh, this track, there is a horrible rock on the inside. It's through this corner that I'm sure someone is going to get fired off of at some point. I'm going to chuck the Volvo to the inside of Gliska. We will try and make this pass stick up on a very wonky line into the final corner. I will imagine Gliska is going to cut back underneath and get that move uh, done. Well, tries to. It's now a drag race towards turn one. I am stuck on the very outside car in the middle, backs out of it, probably wise, uh, as they would have been well stuck involved in that crash. We are still side by side at the top of the hill. Uh, still, we're not going to give up this place, and we are going to get the move done. We are past Biscuit Fort about as hard as they could in that one. There was certainly some contact, however, the hammerhead was fine. We dealt with it all very well indeed. Uh, I apologise. Chat, I will, I will read donations at the end of the race. I can't really look. This is a, an intense race. Can't really look at chat while we're in this much of a battle. Uh, however, we're up to fifth. Ewan is leading the way. Oh, we've bumped that inside uh, inside man. We didn't get launched off of it, though, so that's fine. We are going to try and chase down uh, Lado with that Eagle, the Carmageddon car. Very cool. Really cool to see the Carmageddon vehicle uh, in this game. Are we clear? I think we are clear of the vehicle behind. Well, a bit clear of it. I mean, not going to be perfectly clear. Can we be flat through turn one? Maybe. I did have a lift that time around. I'm not sure whether next lap, whether we can, whether we've quite got the grip or whether I've got the skill or the bravery to get away with that. We're definitely not flat through there. That's a little tap on the brakes. Ewan is continuing to lead the way. Nine Tails is now up to second. So <laughs> as the leader, that's never what you want to see uh, with that. I think it's in the Star Beast. But. Uh, I don't remember wreckfest cars. I don't think it's a great one though. But uh, oh god, it's doing well enough. We hit a bump and that just threw the back of our car into the wall. That's always fun. Uh, we've got two wheeled antics from me and Sunrise ahead. I will try and sneak up the inside. Yeah, did not know there was a bump there that was going to cause issues. We will be to the inside through here. Make sure we don't understeer too wide. That will be a fairly, fairly sensible that manoeuvre for the lead. There was a little lift on the way through that. Now it'll put me, uh, hopefully, safe from... Ooh, no, turning too soon through that. So hopefully we'll be safe from attack into this next corner if I'm quick enough. However, it did not because uh, we then got big oversteer. The sunrise looks the long way around. That's always going to be a different one to pull up now. There's a bump somewhere down here that uh, <laughs> we've got to be careful of. Uh, we will protect the inside. There's going to be no space there. I uh, might be on like a transition where we got the car upset. Don't know. Don't, don't remember exactly where it was. We are cutting it. I, mean, I think we can get away. I feel like this car is actually quite resilient. We can get away. I think resilient, but it doesn't get fired up on its side as much as some of the vehicles that I have seen. Uh, unfortunately, uh, a couple of laps battling has just dropped us back from the. Oh, I say from the lead pack. Is that a danger man? That was a danger man doing a lag. That was a danger man having a very strange laggy moment behind the rock on the inside. Oh, there is a blue car that's had an death. <laughs> I don't know. Don't quite know who it was. I think that was the. It was the worst. The war wagon. I can't remember who was driving it on this one. I'm afraid. We are, oh, we're well clear. Gliska's actually up into six. So something happened to the sunrise. Oh, God, so, the, yeah, that section there. If I go too quick, or I'm obviously going at slightly the wrong angle, it literally just fires the car into the air. Last lap, it didn't even get any air time at all. That lap around, it launched it into the air and chucked it into the wall. Hmm. Well, Ewan has claimed first blood. Ewan with the victory in race number one. We are going to cross the line. Fifth, the best we could manage. I mean, we had a pretty good... We had a pretty good first lap, considering how far back we had to come from. However, yeah, after that, we uh, struggled a little bit. A couple of couple of battles, a couple of mistakes. Yeah, apparently my car just did not like the bumps. But it is Ewan that claims victory. Uh, Nine Tails is second. Lado's on the podium in third. Uh, Danger Man was up in front of us in fourth with that Speed Demon. And it was Gliska, uh, Kasia, Stevie, Aaron, and Ick will <laughs> round out the top ten. Uh, it was a uh, giraffe in the war wagon that was parked up, uh, and is oh, he's back going again. Ah, it's a solid, it's a solid first start. Um, 
It's a solid first start, for, solid first race for us all. Could have gone a lot worse. Mr. Sumo, thank you very much for the donation, saying here is uh, wishing to you that the only crashes will happen in Wreckfest and not on your PC or server. That would be good. I mean, well, I'm, I'm on Xbox. We're on Xbox for this, which is a good start. Less likely to be PC issues. Server issues, well, we've already had them. We, we'll say we've got them out of the way, sure. Uh, and to proclaim that coffee is better than tea. Well, <laughs> Tim Hortons. Sorry. No. And uh, no, I, will, I will not proclaim that one. There are some coffee that I... There is some coffee that I like. However... However... Um, tea, tea is superior. I'm not... Like, it's, just, it's just a fact. It's just a fact. Tea is, tea is superior uh, than than coffee. I would say I'm 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 sorry to tell you, but honestly, I'm really not. Uh, is it this one that we want? Maybe. Yes, it is. Let us let us bring some chaos into proceedings. Uh, Christian Sweden, thank you for the donation. Uh, saying uh, I'm I'm here. Bring me the chaos and mayhem, please. Ah, well. This has been with you. You have joined at a good time. I say it's the start of the stream. Of course, it's a good, a good time. Um, but uh, this, well, I say this, I say this. The, the figure of eights can be sensible. They can be silly, and uh, you never know what you're going to get. It really depends on how the race unfolds. How how condensed the pack is. The second it gets split up, is the second things go crazy. But you can go ten laps with the pack relatively close together. Um, you know, actually, we might go. We're gonna go. We're gonna be brave here. We're gonna go 15 laps. I mean, the laps are like 20 seconds at best. But there we go. Uh, <laughs> uh, Forest Archer, thank you very much for the donation. So my friend riding his motorbike came up to a tank at a stoplight and decided to touch it on his way past. He rode right beside it and smacked it. He then lost control and crashed. His crash was caused by a tank slap. Oh, dear me. <laughs> oh, dear. You are going to get a boo from me. And you are going to get a boo from chat. I am sure of that. Um, oh, God, dear. Um, Night Owls is going to try and do the difficult thing and win with a C-Class car. I am going to... Uh, what do I want? I mean, Hammerhead's not very strong. Uh, do I have any what's my other good B-Class cars? The road cut is quite strong. We know it's quite far. It's probably going to be great here. I think I'm going... Uh, the, hot, the hot shot is very strong. But I'm not expecting survivability to really be a big factor here. I'm not, I'm not expecting survivability to be a big factor. Although this is where I could, I could be eating my words very quickly. I could be eating my words here very quickly. I don't think survivability is going to be a big factor. However, 15 laps, we may start seeing some vehicles dropping out. You may start seeing some attrition going on here. We will... I'm, I'm going for the... I just want a quick car. A car that I know is quick. A car that I know is good. We have, of course, got Ewan with a toilet. Small man has a toilet as well. So... <laughs> the toilet's probably not going to survive. The rest of us, we will see. Yeah, it, I mean, it will be, it'll work for a while, and then the field gets spread out, and let's face it, there's there's more laps, which means there's more chance of field spread. Uh, then it, that's when it goes berserk. Ewan is leading the way. Can a toilet lead a lap of a B-class race? Honestly, yep, it looks like it's going, oh, it's probably led a lap. It's then been hit by an MR2, but uh, it has definitely led a lap at least. <laughs> Raidens, so they're both, both of them are driving C-Class Raidens. But around here, they've got enough grip. Their lack of power is not too bad. Uh, oh, you were the poor, the poor bog has had to take a bigger break there than anyone else. As it was uh, looking quite uh, precarious for the toilet. Oh, we want to get across in front of the hot rod high to the inside. See, we've got probably the stronger car here in terms of physical strength. Oh, it's fine. We have got ourselves through to the lead of the race. Ahead of the two Raidens, although they're going to fight back. I wanted to get a good exit down here. Did not. And we are going to get hit on the crossover. Danger Man had a better run uh, down there. Oh, and that is unfortunate for us. So the line that I was taking through turn one does work. However, 
it's a line that if you have a vehicle up the inside it's very difficult to maintain because you I get I basically get a really good run on the exit but the problem is if there's a car on the inside they block that really good run uh, Danger Man I think may have lost a wheel in all of that which has gone poorly for whatever the hot rod's called I forget completely because uh, I don't think I've ever really used one the toilet is harassing us at the moment with <laughs> a sentence as far as sentences I didn't know I was going to say it is accurate at the moment. The toilet is being a bit annoying. It's, I mean, they are surprisingly rapid. I mean, this has got a V8 engine on it. It's a V8 engine toilet. I mean, it's very light. Uh, we are going to repile. <laughs> We're just currently swapping place with the toilet every corner almost. This is very peculiar. Uh, oh no, the toilet's fallen over! Things have gone wrong for the portaloo! It's sad that you don't want, you don't want your portaloo falling over now, do you? Um, Oh, well, and the other one's fallen over and the other one's wrecked and out of it. Uh, this is the battle for second, I think. Nine Tails is in the distance. Oh, Lado and Gliska are battling for position and we get a great run here. We're almost to the inside of the Jag. Uh, we are going to get to the inside of the Jag now. That will be us up into a third place. Can we pass Lado's Mad Max car? Or where can we pass it if we can? Uh, oh, mate, not going to try and chuck it to the inside there, but could not. Uh, Murphy is not. Thank you for the super chat. Just saying coffee. Uh, why not? Why not have a super chat? Just saying coffee. Um, I feel again. I will. I will just reply with tea or cider. I actually do have. I do have cider today. It's very hot in England, and what better to have than a nice cold cider? Um, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> Today is not a day for coffee or tea. It's too hot for either of those drinks. Well, iced coffee um, is good. I do like that. Um, so I would maybe go if I had to go for, for one. Yeah. Uh, not a fan of iced tea particularly. We've been a little bit rude on the path. Not really intentional. Just get some understeer with this. And yeah, ended up sort of leaning on the vehicle. Uh, Nine Tails is gone at the front. Nine Tails is going to win a B class race with a C class. To be fair. I probably, I think I have a vehicle that could match it for pace. Uh, however, circumstances dictated that we could not. Oh, turn in a little bit too soon there. Um, six circumstances dictated, we just misjudged the crossover. We got involved in a crash that we didn't want to. Uh, <laughs> see, I'm going to go for that one, and that's the only car that I do that with because. So that's Nine Tails in the red Raider. I'm going to go for it because Nine Tails will have to lift. Nine Tails does not want to lose the lead of the race. Nine Tails does not want to crash into the side of us at all. Um, so Nine Tails is the one car, the lead car that is most likely to break. So in my pursuit of Lado, uh, which I think we are slightly quicker if I get a good lap. However, I've had a couple of scruffy laps. Lado is battling with Shadow. Lado has put Shadow in a wall. Uh, oh, and Nine Tails has found the dangers of not breaking. We have clipped, although Ninetales got it going quick enough. Well done, Ninetales, for uh, making that work. <laughs> We're going to cross the line. We couldn't catch Lado in the end of it. Ah, oh, god damn it! Um, god damn it, indeed. Uh, did we have Jesus? Ninetales got a faster lap. Actually, both both the C-class Raidens were quicker than all the B-class cars, and the toilet was also very fast. What? <laughs> so the only B-class cars that were faster than the toilet was me. Lado's fastest lap was actually slower than the toilet's fastest lap. Everyone else's fastest laps were slower than the toilet's fastest lap. Uh, what? <laughs> that, well, I mean, fair play. To, I mean, fair play to you. And yeah, you you did a great job driving that. You did a, a fantastic job driving that toilet. We actually had a really good race against the toilet. Um, that was, yeah, that was, we had a really good race against that. Uh, we were trying and trying to catch the bandit, but we couldn't quite do it. Once Nine Tails had settled into a rhythm, even then I was going to struggle to uh, keep up with that. I mean, we were, we were close, but yeah, goddamn. <laughs> I mean, I know the raiding's very fast, but still, Christ. Um... Uh, 
All right, did I just see? I did see. Uh, Adrian, thank you very much for the super chat saying T. Exactly, that is a message. That is a message we can all get behind right there. Um, uh, M MG, thank you very much for the donation. Say, hi, Alex. Please, can you uh, another, do a double-decker race on Deathloop? Uh, love your content. Keep up the good work. You know what? We absolutely can. We absolutely can do a double-decker race. Not going to do a 15-lap race. We can do a double-decker race around here. Uh, ooh. I hope... I hope. I think everyone can borrow the double-decker. Uh, like you can rent it if you don't already own one in the game. Uh, so, of course, it will be a stock double-decker. Wherever, I think. Oh, no. Oh, God. Mine's not stock either. Or does it... Is it C... It might be C164 stock. Actually, because I don't think I've modified this. Uh, as far as I know, it doesn't look like it. What engines does this get? Ah, it can get a very powerful race engine. A three litre straight six. Oh, no, they're all three litre straight sixes. Never mind. I guess it's a Supra base, so that's that's that. No, you are right. Well done, chat. Caleb is correct. The track track did not load, I don't think. Uh, bear with. We'll just go crash cat. I'm load. We're not going to go here. I'm just doing this so that it will load properly for me. Um... But we are going to go to the death loop. Right, so, the rules. The rules, everybody, who may... Maybe this is your first time watching the stream, in which case, awesome. I welcome you. I welcome you to Wreckfest and to a Fowlray stream. Maybe it's your very first ever Fowlray stream that you are watching. Um, which would be fantastic if it is. I mean, it's fantastic if it's your hundredth or thousandth. I don't know how many streams I've done by now. Quite a lot. Anyway, I digress. The rules. When we race a circuit like this... You, for, for this race certainly, you must take the loop. Unless you are physically unable to take the loop, as in you're pushed away from it, you have a crash and you're going at like 10 mile an hour towards the loop, in which case you're just going to make it worse. You've got to take the loop. With the double deckers, I think it's unlikely that... Um uh, unlikely that you're really ever going to want to miss the loop. The alternate route is actually slower. But... Um, yeah, you've got to... You've got to, you've got to try try and take the uh, loop wherever possible. I don't know at what speed these vehicles are going to have issues going around the loop. I'm not sure. Um, it's, they should be fine. They, they, they should be okay to get around here. Um, they're going to be a lot quicker than the bus can get around here. They should be getting around there, no problem. Uh, it looks like we have got everybody is ready with their double-deckers. Let us, I say, begin. We will, we will, we are ready. I don't know whether everyone's ready. I'm curious. So we're driving on intense damage. We normally do with all of these. With all of these races, we will be on on intense damage. It's just kind of a bit of fun. Makes things a bit madder, really. I uh, I suspect a few cars will DNF. There may well be some contact on the loop that is going to cause some trouble. But uh, we will see. Uh, <laughs> We will, we will see. Uh, Jesse, if you, if you don't take the loop, you're a lamppost hit by you. <laughs> or a wall. Or, or, or a wall. Ah, we have the many jokes of Ewan crashing into things, in both real life and in games. I'm sorry, Ewan. We all do it. Well, not the real life part, thankfully. But, uh, <laughs> certainly in GTA. <laughs> Uh, then we will, we'll keep making. I say we'll keep making fun of, of, of you and uh, up until the point where someone else in the filming crew does a dumb thing. Uh, that, you know, it's it's going to happen. It's it'll happen eventually. Um, I mean, if you've seen you've seen the uh, entertaining handbrake turn attempt that for for from <laughs> from Lado. The funny thing is, I could make jokes about Lado's uh, attempt at a handbrake turn in the like short that went out today. The thing is, none of my cars actually have a handbrake that means I could even try it. The Audi has a button, the Jag has a button, and the Fury has a pedal. Uh, <laughs> it literally does. There is a pedal you press on the Fury that does the handbrake, and then there's a, I don't know, like a lever that you have to then pull out to release it. So I don't think, I mean, I guess maybe you could. You'd have to, like, hit the pedal, and then very quickly pull the lever I don't think it would work. I mean, if I had a very big car park and absolutely nothing to hit, it would probably be a very funny thing to film. I just don't know whether I could physically do that successfully. And also, I mean, the theory you don't really need to. You just kind of 
put your foot down and it makes a lot of noise and spins the wheels up. So, you know, there is that. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't think you could. Um, so it would be it would be difficult to, to do a handbrake turn with any of my vehicles. Uh, well, there is a spice of contact up ahead, but I think everyone is going to be fine heading into the loop for the first time. Oh, God, these are slow around here. Ooh. I think I'm having I don't know, it wasn't that uh, I thought someone got very close to hitting small one on the loop. I may have just been mis misjudging things. I'm going to try and cut underneath. We've got a good exit down here, which we do. Oh, someone has fallen over. I mean, we basically... We took a different line to Small Man and, and Lado. Uh, the hope was I'd get the cut back on Small Man. It didn't quite work. There's been a big kerfuffle and Danger Man's... The well, Danger Man's come off second worst. Aaron's definitely come off worse there. Aaron is upside down and rolling down the road on their side. Uh, oh, don't want first gear through there. That was too too low on the gears. These cars are tall enough that I have a feeling they would get caught by cars in that crossovery jumpy bit. Oh, God, these really struggle a lot more around here than I was expecting them to. Oh, a bit of lag. Is that Stevie got away with that one? Uh, not sure. I'm not sure quite here it is, Stevie. Danger Man can go up the inside. That's fine. I will just duck down on the exit. Oh, through the middle. <laughs> I was Crane almost murdering Gliska and Small Man. Got away with it. Um, we are battling away. I've not got turn one correct at all. Uh, around here. Accession, thank you very much for the super chat. Saying two pounds towards car park. Doable. <laughs> oh, God. Is that going to be a video when I get the, when I get the Fury back? Um, I will say uh, that it is actually not, not too far away. Uh, not too far away until the Fury will be back. Uh, finally, after a very, very long time, it is uh, not, yeah, not too long to go until the Fury is back. It has cost an astronomical no, amount. It's cost a lot, um, but it will be back soon-ish, like within the month, hopefully. Uh, <laughs> which is the closest it's ever been. It's the closest it's ever been. To, to, I say that. It's it, it, yeah. It's, it started. What well, it started off as I was expecting to be a small job, very quickly descended into not a small job. Um, but yeah. Oh, that was a bit close. Oh, who is leading? Well, funnily enough, it is Nine Tails that is in the lead of the race. It is Nine Tails leads, Giraffe is second. We are kind of in this group for third at the moment. Basica currently has it. We're going to try this different line. Uh, oh, God, there a bit. Yeah. Problem with that line. I like the line. But the line gets compromised if there's anybody about when you can't, so you can't make the most of the exit. Uh, it's maybe a little bit of a... Oh, God, I might have taken a little bit too much of an extreme uh, through there. Danger Man's going to... I can't even get to... I haven't seemed to take the same sort of speed into Turn 1 that the rest of these cars are able to do. Uh, oh, we are going to give Danger Man a bump, and then we will straighten them up. <laughs> I apologise. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Ooh. That was alarmingly close. We did survive, though. Uh... We did, we did survive, thankfully. There is, is that a DNF car? Oh, it's Aaron who is almost dead on the inside. Danger Man got a much better landing there. So we are going for, no, not gonna get, oh, it's the final lap of the race. Did not realize, I thought we had one more to go. Danger Man is going to get the position. I think fair enough. <laughs> uh, oh, that is a, um, that was a good race. I enjoyed that. I'm not. I wasn't very. I just couldn't get. I couldn't get turn one right. I could not figure out uh, how to get turn one correct, uh, which seemed to be costing me a fair bit of lap time. Danger Man actually got the fastest lap of the race. Uh, well done to there, as far as I can see. Yeah, there's a lot of us in the 45s. I was just one of the slower 45s. Oh, Aaron. <laughs> oh, that poor, poor car. That has had a bad day. <laughs> and it has now been mercy killed, I think. <laughs> oh, I don't know who it's AI did it. Whose AI did it? I can watch it back on stream. Uh, it was... Might have even been mine. I'm not sure. It was an orange car with a black one on the roof. And I think, I think it was mine. Um, <laughs> we very much... I think, 
I think we very much mercy killed Aaron's poor car. Uh, I mean, it wasn't very alive. It wasn't, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't going to be going much further, but they did get dumped out of that one. Let's go to C-Class. Uh, around a track that I very much like. Not everybody likes this circuit. I do understand it. I do understand not liking this track. Just, I do. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Silver Fang Wolfie, thank you very much for the donation. Saying hello uh, from one of uh, Jimmy B's mods. Oh, that's cool. Uh, Say, love of the Retro stream, though, shame I can't join you on Xbox. A uh, PC version here. Ah, there is, the, never fear, there is a chance in future we may be doing some more Wreckfest on PC stuff, especially some sort of modded stuff on PC. Uh, so it is possible at some point in the future uh, there may even be a stream on it. Well, I, I used to, and well, I have tried. I have ran a server on Wreckfest. I did try and stream from it, but if I'm streaming and running a server at the same time, my internet doesn't hold up to it. Um, or at least it didn't used to. I don't know whether it would now, but uh, yeah, it definitely didn't used to. So, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, I wouldn't be hosting hosting, but it is definitely something we might see in the future. Oh, so hopefully the Fury uh, Resto goes well. Got a, a Opal Manta here, uh, which... Uh, once a house move is complete, that'll get an LS V8 in it. Oh, that's very cool. I do like the Mantas. Um, my dad had one a long time, a long time ago. He did have a Manta, I think. I'm trying to remember all of his cars. I swear he had a Manta at some point. Uh, but yes, do like the Opal Mantas. Very cool. Best of luck with that one. That sounds. Yep. <laughs> that's that'll be mad. That'll be mad fast because they will be very small and very light with a very big engine. Uh, so yeah, awesome. Good luck with. Uh, Good luck with that one as well. Um, I mean, I'd love to be able to do all the work myself. I don't have the knowledge, skill, time, or any of that to do it. Um, so, in my case, it's just be Well, and there's also been the pain in the ass part of trying to get parts. There's been a lot of waiting for stuff to get here from America. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it will, it will be... It'll be ready soon. TM. <laughs> we will... We will see. Um... We will see on on that one. Um, but, uh, yeah. Right, we are going into our next race. I've got the trusty bulldog out. I know this is a good hand. I like the, I like the drive. I like the way this car drives. It's good handling, struggles with top speed, but around this track, that doesn't matter. Pretty much. Uh, Nine Tails has got a 40 over buggy, which will hopefully fall over. Because, <laughs> uh, well, if not, we know we know how fast. That will probably end up being. We've got Tristars and Gremlins. I do like the Gremlins. Gremlins quite fast. Oh, we're a long way back. Aaron is still sticking with the double decker. You brave, brave fool. Uh, we are going to be to the inside of three wide through each other. There's not much more we can do in that. We're just stuck in the middle. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna, we just got to kind of sit that one out. As I sit that one out, we're going to kind of wake that one out. Can we duck underneath everybody through here? We can a little bit. The problem is then we just run into a wall of traffic anyway. Oh, Glisk has found some tyres. Somehow we have avoided everybody through there, which is fantastic news for me. How on earth we got away with that? I mean, it's great. How have I also managed to lose the leaderboard? Oh, no, don't press that button. Okay, I brought the leaderboard back. Um, I did not even know... Didn't know you could go to cinematic camera. That's a new one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't press that button. That button's bad. We're around the outside of Stephen. We might finally complete this pass. It looks like we will do. So the Raiden is leading the way. Oh, we may get a good... Sh not good enough. So we may get a good, good line on the exit there to the inside of Lado uh, through that next corner. Couldn't do it. Couldn't quite get the vehicle alongside there. We might draw alongside on the exit. We're trying to use the buggy... Uh, up ahead as a pick, but I don't think we're going to quite do that. Nope. Because uh, they're too busy fighting one another. I've got to be careful I don't let Stevie get past while I go for... Oh, a cut back on both of them and it works. The Raiden big slide through turn one. We are up into the podium positions. That was a well-executed manoeuvre. <laughs> Getting past the pair of them. The, the downside of that manoeuvre, so that line works, but the issue you get is if Stevie was close enough, we would have just thrown that vehicle up the inside and I wouldn't have been able to turn underneath them. Thankfully, we were clear. Uh, we've now got to try and catch the Firefly. We're not catching the Raiden, that's gone. Even if even if we were the first fastest car on the track, we're not catching it because we're definitely not fastest by that long. It's got three, four seconds. We're not going to be able to catch and pass it, but we might be able to do something about getting up 
into second. I mean, the Firefly's not bad. Uh, personally, I've never really liked it. Uh, I've never really been able to get speed out of it. It's probably the best way to put it. Um, but I do know they can be relatively quick. Uh, oh, there is... They, uh, they're not DNF cars, they are just parked. Oh, turn in too soon through there. That was not the cleverest. Come on, Bulldog. <laughs> so this is the sort of circuit this car is great at. Um, Gremlin's the other C-Class car I tend to use. I tend to like... I do have a buggy that's quick uh, as well. Yeah, this is the sort of track that works perfectly for the Bulldog. It's able to make the most of its handling and it doesn't really come undone from its lack of top speed. We will get alongside Danger Man. We are on the wrong side, though, for this next corner. If we can hold it on this wide line, which we may be able to do, we can hold it on the wide line. We will be to the inside through the next corner, and it's the inside for here as well. Danger Man will try and duck underneath. We will park it on the apex, which we do quite nicely. The Firefly is having a look. We will have to defend a little bit into the final corner because I don't want Danger Man being able to try and send it. They will not be able to do it. I think the leader was was uh, slowing down to uh, let as many people cross the finish line as possible. That was a, It was another good race against Danger Man. The Bulldog, I think, was just a little bit too quick uh, for the Firefly there. That is the tra as I said, that is the sort of track that is perfect for the Bulldog. Uh, yeah, it's actually very, very quick. Uh, <laughs> we were already a couple of tenths down on the Raiden's fastest lap. Happy with that. Um, happy, happy with that. Um, yeah, it was, it was a good race. It was a good chase on, on the Firefly. And the end, Bulldog just, just had too much. It turns really, really well. Uh, Danger Man gets on the podium. Nine Tails makes it up to fourth with the Trooper. Uh, then we have a Firefly, a couple of Gremlins, uh, a Buggy. Uh, the Gorby of Lano ends up in ninth in Ewan's. Actually, considering the only two big cars are the Trooper and the Cardinal in the top ten. So, yeah. <laughs> That's a difficult one. That is a difficult one. Um, nope, and there is this one. It's a difficult track for a, for a big car around there. Um, yeah. The Bulldog is quick. It will, it will get broken. It is not strong. It is not fast in a straight line, but that track, it's pretty much perfect. And the Raiden's Along, along very similar lines. I think the Raider might be quick in a straight line. Don't know. Don't know my Wreckfest cars well enough. All right. We are going to go to... Uh, we've got to get a figure of eight on the go. We haven't got a C-Class with a figure of eight. Uh, so far today. So let us head here. I don't know what I'm going to use. I don't know if I want... I mean, I do want to use the Bulldog, but I also don't. It is very weak. My other option would be a gremlin. The rocket or buggy are quite fine. I mean, that would be the, that would be an option, but I just don't think it's going to be destructive to require a limo. But it might be. You're never sure. Hmm. Do I go gremlin or do I stick with? I think I'm going to DNF. But I'm going to stick with my, my trusty bulldog. Uh, Michael the Kiwi, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, I had a nightmare last night that someone hit me with a car muffler. I woke up absolutely exhausted. <laughs> oh, that is going to be a boo to you from me and from chat. Uh, watching until the Rugby World Cup starts in 30 minutes. Uh, go the All Blacks. Oh, God, I don't know if I want to... There was a time when England was very good at rugby. Then that time is not currently. Not that I have watched much rugby. Uh, my, <laughs> my watching of rugby has generally depended on, is England half competent? If the answer to that is no, I've watched less of it. And currently England is not, is not competent from what I have seen. But I haven't, well, I haven't watched it for a while now. I do like rugby, uh, but yeah, I have not watched it for a fair bit. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, hopefully England won't be a terrible embarrassment. That's that's the goal. Uh, MG, thank you very much for the super chat. Saying crash challenge next race one pound per hit on Lado. <laughs> okay, if I see Lado. If I see Lado. I'll try and play it sneakily and do a lot of little taps. Because if I hit if I hit Lado really hard once. Lado will end up in the wall, or I'll end up in the wall, and then we won't see them again. But if I bump, just I very lightly bump them might get away with it. We might get lots of hits. Then we'll see what we can do. What is Lado driving? Oh, Lado's in a gremlin. Okay. So, likely be half decent. 
Uh, not going to be crazy strong. Ah, oh, Gliss has got the tank of an El Matador. That will hurt if that hits me. Jesus, if that El Matador hits me, that will probably disintegrate my car. It's it's the, the thing that we will be quicker than that El Matador around this circuit. Around around a lap, I will be much quicker. However, if we get hit by it like a once, we're gonna be really really poorly. So I am concerned about that. The Nine Tails Rebel Rat will either be fast or be incredibly strong. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't know how Nine Tails will have built it. The little Thrasher. That's the pickup truck. I have a feeling they fall over. Um, I can't remember though. I can't remember all the vehicles on here. Someone's got a go kart. Uh, okay, we are starting. Relatively good spot on the grid. Um, yeah, not not a terrible spot on the grid. We are stuck though. We're not on the outside completely, but uh, I'll take that back. We are now on the outside completely. Uh, we are to the inside. We will land slightly on the back of crate. Oh. I can't see a lado, unfortunately. <laughs> will my will my desire to win outweigh my desire to win? The the, the competitive racer part of me is very strong. Uh, <laughs> doesn't doesn't compute uh, lifting and waiting. Oh, we are on the outside of a super venom. We are very sideways on the outside of a super venom. Now, so figure of eight, as we've said before. It can just end up being a sensible race, right? It can go that way for a while. Uh, but as soon as the field spread starts happening... Oh! Ninetales gets away with it because it was a go-kart um, or a toy car more than anything. It almost upset the Rebel Rat, but it wasn't enough to do much. It might be my turn to hit it. Yep. It is my turn to hit it, and that slowed us down more than it slowed Ninetales down. Uh, oh, turned in a bit too much through there. And we clomped the wall. Ah, oh, it your nose. I want that in the middle of the race. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it cost us, but it wasn't the same as hitting a car, for example. There's kind of a bit of a two-group system going on. I'm hoping Danger Man gets slowed down by traffic, but it doesn't look likely to happen. I mean, the rocket gets pinged off the door and is out of the way. Unlikely to see the go-kart really slow. So I'm actually surprised it survived the hit against us. I guess that's because we just aren't that heavy. Um, we had a good lap there. Um, we have slightly caught the cars ahead. We are starting to head towards trouble. We are starting to head towards the point. So we're lapping quick enough that we are starting to jump into the back of the train. Nine Tails, the first time, has had to go on the brakes through there. It's... This is why I said it to 15 laps, because we are now catching. Ninetales has to go massively on the brakes. Oh, no. Oh, no. I thought we were going to jump over. We did not. We, I mean, we didn't do any damage to ourselves. We've just lost a heap of time. Uh, I, I, I thought either A, we were going to jump clear, or more likely, actually, I don't realize how much Danger Man was slowing down. And, yeah, that one there was misjudged horrifically for me. Uh, there is the incredibly strong... El Matador, we are going to sneak up the in... Oh, we're going to try to sneak up the inside. Sorry, let's get... We've made a nuisance of ourselves immediately. Uh, <laughs> good, I was trying to sneak up the inside, uh, but Ewan's... Oh, I turned a lot tighter. We just just nicked the back of Ewan's car that started turning it. Uh, we are not quite past Ewan. There is... Is that Aaron ahead in that vehicle? Oh, dear. I mean, I saw Lado was up in the top. I think Lado's second or third at the moment. Unfortunately, we are just not close enough. Uh, we are going to give a bump, and we are going to fire ourselves through the second we find a gap. Oh, that's looking dangerous. That is looking very dangerous for us. We are on lap number 10. We are a long way back. We need a miracle. Uh, oh, God. No, I thought we could go in front. We could not. Ah. Again, that's really done no damage, which I'm incredibly surprised by. We just could not get our vehicle into the gap. Oh, we got lag pinged by nine tails. Well, that one has done some serious damage. Oh, that's unfair. Well, how am I supposed? To? I can't. I can't account for lag as well. Oh, Lado's leading. Hello, Lado. <laughs> that's unfortunate for you. Um, I mean, I'm not going to take you out of the race, but 
if we can if we can find a way to crash into you, that would be good. We've got I mean, Lagmo has now got the biggest incentive in the world to uh, go as quick as possible. Because if I can get near you, there will be contact. Um, it would be unnecessarily. I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm not going to torpedo. I'm not going to take Lado out of the race because that would just be RC. But if we can, if we can make contact with the yellow car, that would be the goal. But we don't have very long to do it in. Uh, right. We are actually quicker. Hello. <laughs> oh no! Don't put it round. Don't put it round. Uh, okay. Oh no! <laughs> I might have might have cost Lado a lot of time. Right. We will go and annoy Danger Man to make up for it. Well, Lado crashed into us. Uh, okay. So Danger Man. Uh oh. Let's go and annoy Danger Man in the same way. Oh, we're going to go. We're going to get piggyback. I think Danger Man. I am going to end up interfering with this race a lot at the moment. Uh, try. I'm not. I'm trying. I was trying to not interfere, and I'm now stuck. Uh, though this is the final lap for them because they're on the lap ahead of me. I went on the brakes, so I didn't turn a car around. I, there's going to be a very angry Lado. I was literally making the lightest contact I could. <laughs> it's going to be a really angry Lado. <laughs> uh, I am sorry. I was trying to not. And, yeah. Oops. That race, that race fell, fell apart for us. I mean, we got lag killed, which I can't do a thing about. The Bulldog was very fast. It's actually the fastest car on the track, unfortunately. Um, it's just, we got, well, we got, we got hit on the, we got hit by the, the go-kart thing, which, eh, you know what, it happens. But it was, it was a lag kill from Ninetales especially that really screwed us. Uh, we just, yeah. Uh, we just got so unlucky on that one with a very quick cut, but it's a figure of eight, you know, that's, um, that is how it goes sometimes, it's, uh, it happens, but yeah, oh well, I do like the Bulldog though, it does work of course, it was always going to work well there because it's literally just constant cornering, constant cornering, funnily enough, will be good for the, um, uh, thingy for the bulldog. Um, right, let's go. Where shall we go to? Uh, what circuit is this? No, is that a proper one? Can't remember. Fail fools. Sure, this is the really short one, isn't it? Yes, I like this track actually. This track's fun. It's a bit chaos, but um. It is a fun circuit, at least. I might, I, you know, what, I'll go for, for for sake of variety. I will go grab the gremlin. Uh, I I would not have got a better result if I was drinking coffee. I'm afraid to say. Um, we have, as I said, we have cider tonight. We are powered by cider. Uh, which maybe, to be fair, maybe if I was drinking coffee instead of cider, it would have been the way to go. But uh, for now, <laughs> we will we will stick with what we know. Um, yeah, so very, very full circuit. It's a good track. It's short. A couple. Of, there's not a huge amount of overtaking spots around here. Um, the main one would be the final corner. The final corner, pretty good. Um, turn two, not a bad overtaking spot either. Lado has a limo. I have a feeling we're not finishing this race, which would be understandable. <laughs> I can have no can, no complaints. I can have no complaints on that one. Uh, <laughs> The, uh, the the limo is is strong. Uh, it is. They will be very tough, and they'll be difficult to pass. Uh, we know the rating. I mean, the rating will be fast here. Anything that was fast at the previous couple of circuits, to be fair, uh, will be fast here as well because it's sort of along those lines. Um, yeah, right, which we're going to start it. So everyone, I mean, that's the starting. It gives it a couple of minute countdown. Uh, once everyone's ready, it'll just go. So this is kind of the. Not the hurry up, but yeah, we get everyone in their vehicles ready to have a big accident, probably. Uh, yeah, I, I have a feeling I know what's 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 going to happen. We are going to try desperately and avoid <laughs> avoid it if we can. <laughs> uh, this is when it turns out the limo is mighty fast and just buggers off at the front. Um, 
that is a distinct possibility. You never know. Someone shout at Crane. It's just we're just waiting on the crane. What is the crane driving? A blade. Eh. What is that? That's the fire the fire birdie thing. I think so. Uh, okay. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> uh. Well, hopefully we're fast enough accelerating away. Uh, yeah. That's always going to be a bad time. Are we going to be able to do anything here? I mean, I don't even want to be going into this corner on the outside, just because you get squeezed, even unintentionally you just get squeezed on the outside. Uh, I'm still stuck oh, on the outside of three wide. Stevie got quite lucky uh, going on their roof and landing back on the wheels and being perfectly fine. Uh, the limo got a lot of understeer mid-corner, which is going to happen, pretty much. Uh, there is a car exploring the outer limits of the track. I'm trying to duck underneath some stuff. Uh, come on, use the acceleration of the gremlin. I know it's pretty damn good in C-Class. We will chuck it, chuck it through turn one. Not going to be close enough. Well, we might be close enough because oh, the Firefly bumped into Crane and we can sneak past. I mean, that was an overtake of opportunity right there. I was just focus on my own racing line and we carried enough speed that as they fought, we could, we could pass. And we may get another overtake of opportunity on a Crane here uh, into the final corner. It's a tight line going to be a little bit of a kind of a slight job pass almost but it does the job it does the job that we wanted it to and we will be up a position is it small man up next where might we find a way past it not like that turn in too soon that second corner that was dumb uh, there is a blue machine having a look to the inside of crane and crane may be uh, losing that position soon don't slide too much through there you got to check in a little bit but, uh, yeah, last thing you want is excessive slide. There's a massive battle going on up in front, uh, which I want to be a part of. Hopefully we will get a chance to. That's really... <laughs> Danger Man stuck their way through. Nine Tails with a huge lead because everyone is fighting uh, back behind there. Uh, right, don't turn in too soon. I always do it through that part. It's not very clever. Um, but... <laughs> Oh, there we go. That's, this, is, this lap has been much better for us. The buggies are having an argument. Uh, we will continue to push the gremlin as hard as we can. Can I do another pass into this final corner? Not quite close enough. We head up towards half distance now. Uh, we will accelerate away. Now comes the difficult part. Where do you get the pass done? Well, small man's left a gap on the inside. That's made my choices up here a lot easier. We will hopefully just sweep around the outside, and we do. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> this track can be quite difficult to pass on. However, if a, if the door is left open, I am going to go through said door. Uh, Aaron is busy fighting with the other buggy. We will just send it to the inside of the final corner. We might even be passed by the time we get there. Just park it. Won't we get a little nudge. I don't think it's going to put us wide enough to really cause us grief. Uh, Aaron's got some good acceleration on the exit. Can they hold it on the outside? I mean, they're not gonna, not gonna have, not gonna hold it with enough speed. Not gonna crash. Oh no! Never mind. I've hit the inside banking. Never mind. <laughs> All that hard work for nothing. God damn it! Uh, yeah, you do not want to hit. You do not want to turn in too soon. You do not want to hit that banking because, well, funnily enough, that is what happens. That is that is what occurs. We are going to now have to overdrive the car like crazy to try and get back past these two when I should have been trying to go after uh, Buggy in front. Bloody hell. Uh, right. No doing that again. Hug the inside wall through turn one, if you dare. Uh, we're, turning, we're still turning a bit too, bit too soon, and we got away with that one. Now, if they fight each other, we may be able to do another double pass if, if we are in the right place at the right time. Seems like the Buggy's got enough acceleration. The Stella's a little better in the corners. The Buggy's got enough acceleration. To, uh, to keep it at bay, although oh, got a bit squeezed, and there will be there was the open, slight open door invitation, but Aaron fought back well, almost immediately, and uh, <laughs> threw the buggy past. I think the Stella's going to be out of range. I think Smallman's got that position. So whether I can find a way to pass Aaron's buggy before the end of this lap, uh, we're all a little bit wonky through turn two. Uh, we've got oh, we've got a gremlin behind having a little bit of a dive. 
And he's not quite going to be able to make that one stick. Oh, Aaron up onto two wheels through there. Maybe able to get to the inside down here. No, can't. Still can't do it. Uh, the buggy's going to be far enough away. Oh, but now it's fallen over. The buggy's gone. <laughs> Aaron defended so well on that final lap. <laughs> oh. oh, poor Aaron. That's so unlucky. Defended that final lap really, really well. Credit where it is due. Incredibly well defended. And... <laughs> the final corner actually drove it well I don't quite know how the buggy fell over at the death there that is so unlucky that is so unlucky indeed um, yeah we drove a bit scruffy in that one, not my finest piece of driving not my finest piece of driving at all um, nope and Finland's found a way to fall over and be murdered by my AI <laughs> my AI once again tries to help eliminate cars I don't know what it is with my AI and being unnecessarily violent today, it would seem. But, uh... <laughs> there we go. Right. Back to the lobby we go. Now, MG, thank you very much for the donation. Saying, complete... Completed, uh, I counted four times, so I rounded up to five, then doubled it. Oh, well, thank you very much. It is uh, very generous of you. Uh, thanks for the entertainment. Good luck with <laughs> the rest of the stream. At some point, at some point when I am not prepared. Maybe, maybe Ladder's just playing the mind games. Knew I was expecting it that last race, and when I least expect it is when we're going to probably get murdered. Uh, I have a feeling that is probably going to be true. However, we will see. We, we will see. Um... Time for Crash Canyon. Like, it's time to get things a little bit wild. Uh, I say that, actually. The last few times we've run Crash Canyon, everything has been very sensible. We've had some legit, genuine, really good races around here. Uh, what the earth do I want, vehicle-wise? <sighs> See, I do wonder whether this could be good, because it's got the ride height and the suspension to deal with the bumps. This is normally more about just pure strength. I don't know. Road cutter, I love, but it's terrible here. The rammer. The rammer, pretty solid option, actually. Strong. May not like the bumps a bit. May have a bit of issue with the bumps. Hot shot. Str the hammerhead. I mean, I can't go wrong with the hammerhead. Uh, I don't know about the rest of them, to be honest. Gorby's. I don't know how the Gorby's cornering and how is the Gorby just all speed and no corner? I don't quite know how that works. But um oh, I'm just gonna go the rammer. It's just it's just all round. It's just an all round car. Now the fear of course is if this race goes crazy and becomes a battle of attrition, which it can, um the limo is gonna be strong. Because, well, the limo will dish out a huge amount of punishment. Um, so the limo is unlikely to die during this. El Matadors can be very strong. So we've got... My rammer's a bit middle ground. It's got a bit of strength. The Raiden will not have strength. The Stella probably won't. The Gremlin probably won't. The El Matador probably will. Uh, Razor, I doubt, is crazy strong. I guess you could build it heavily armoured, but they're normally not. So there's going to be some vehicles that are very tough, some vehicles that are kind of sat in the middle, some are very weird. I imagine War Wagon's going to be relatively tough as well. Uh, and then there's going to be some that, you know, a couple of hits and they'll be out. Now, they'll be very fast. Oh, there's a Grand Duke. There, and there's a hearse. Yeah, there's a few heavyweights turning up. So if this race goes mad, it's going to be difficult for, like, the Gremlin, let's say. Or oh, potentially difficult. I, don't, I can't guarantee it, of course. You never know what's going to happen. Uh, we will have to wait and see. We will have to wait and see how mad this might end up going. And all of this build-up, and it could end up just being a legit nice clean race. <laughs> like, it could just end up with a good battle for the lead, or maybe for second if Ninetales bugger... Oh, Ninetales is in a limo. Probably won't bugger off at the front, but you never know. Uh, we'll see what the grid is like. Uh, but yeah, it might just end up in being a really close good race. It does it does happen sometimes. So we have got a C-Class raid in. Let's see if that makes it to the finish line. And we'll see what Finland has got. A hammerhead, maybe. We will, yeah, see 
see you soon. Um, if you are just tuning in to the stream, I welcome you all to some to some breakfast. Um, I hope you are having all having a good a good evening. The event is underway. We are a long. We have not had good spots on the grid so far today, but we are off and underway at least. We are, we are we are in one of the strong we are in a stronger vehicle, so we should have uh, should be able to, you know, if there are, if there is bumps and shunts. We should be able to, to ride them off on the most part. Uh, Nine Tails' limo is going for the straddle the lanes and has fallen over, and I now can't see it. Uh, it has righted itself. Well, we are to the inside. It is actually the C Class Raiden that is leading the way. Addo is looking to the outside. Stevie's limo got uh, limo Hurst got caught on the front bumper. My front bumper's incredibly big on this. Oh, there's a big crash on the correct side of the track. This is about the only time we're going down the wrong, technically wrong lane has been incredibly advantageous for me. I will take that. I will say that that's what I intended, knowing full well that I got incredibly lucky. Oh, it's getting a little bit bumpy for my liking. Uh, that was incredibly, incredibly lucky for us. Ewan is to the inside, but on that line, I imagine Ewan will struggle to put the power down. By the looks of it, Lano and Gliska have got quite unlucky. I don't know who was in the Razor. I think it I want to say it's Aaron. It looked like their car, maybe, but I, I genuinely don't know. Nine Tails is up to four with that limo. The limo would just punch its way through that crash. Would not care one bit. So, we've got to be careful. This vehicle does not seem to enjoy the bumps as much as I remember. <laughs> this is almost as bad as the uh, bloody... What's in the code? Uh, we are oh, sliding up there. Ewan's going to get a great exit. We're going to be... Whoa! I was going to be mean and chop Ewan off there, although doing that was incredibly risky. However, Ewan was too far back and Lado had flipped and was heading <laughs> a very awkward place. That's too high. But we may still get a good enough exit. Uh, right. This jump down here, that bump there is the one that really causes me grief. I don't know why that one. The other side, the car feels fine. But that jump itself is a real problem. Ewan dove to the inside, did not quite make that one work. Oh, there is a grand jump. I do not want to see that coming towards us. Uh, uh, that That's, uh, yeah, not going to be a, a, good, a good day if that hits us. Somehow, the C-Class Raiden is still running around in the top four. I don't know. Oh, no! Grammar, bad. Behave, please. Oh, Ewan is to the inside. Yeah, so we've got real issues on that jump. Ewan is going to try and block our momentum up there, which will work. Ewan has got clear. Now, this is the difficult part, is... Ewan is going to have to make a decision as to how they take these corners. Do they defend the inside knowing that I will probably send it at some point trying to find a way past or do they run the technically faster line but run the risk that we will fire, just fire past I will fire up the inside and hope, so on the final lap we probably will that being said, my car is so bad over the bumps that I don't think it really matters yeah, this one here is when we whoop, <laughs> can get to, but that is the difficulty oh crap there is a Grand Duke heading towards us you're going to do the same thing to us that we just did to them uh, into this corner. So you run the high line, you leave the inside open. I think my car might be heavier. So I think if there's contact, I think we push Ewan out of the way, potentially. Uh, and Ewan won't be able to move us as well. Now we've got to be careful. Danger Man is also coming to join the party here. Uh, it's going to be a three car battle for the lead. Ewan is going to send it, but see, that's the difficulty for Ewan, is Ewan just bounced off the door. So Ewan full sent it to the inside. Oh, Danger Man got lucky there. Lado's got back across in time. Uh, oh, so yeah, Ewan absolutely sent it, and that somehow was, time, was my fastest lap of the race when Ewan bounced off the door. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, do you full send it? My car is strong enough to ride that hit, which I'm surprised about, but happy about. No, don't do a wheelie, for God's sake. Ewan is about to try again. We are going to be defending the inside. But what's happening now is uh, Danger Man is catching us. The more we are fighting like this, the more chance Danger Man... Well, no, there's something's, gone, something's happened behind. Something has happened to Danger Man and Ewan. It's now suddenly all changed around. I think they may have got hit by the hearse. 
because Stevie got close to me, but it didn't hit, and it looked like that may have gone into traffic. So something has happened down there that is not good. That is not good for uh, for the cars behind. It is very good news for me. Um, the raising is in second place, which is somehow still alive in this round, in this race. Uh, oh, there is a hammerhead minus a front wheel by the looks of it. Uh, we are just currently not actually driving a great final couple of laps here. Uh, Crane. No. Oh, God. I'm trying to get past Crane has given us some grief in this, although thankfully it was with a big enough lead. Uh, oh, there is Lano. Well, <laughs> it was set up. I'll tell you what, this rammer has dealt some, has dealt with some punishment. Good effort from Lano trying to get it on the final lap. Wasn't enough. Jesus, this rammer does not get moved. That was a torpedo that absolutely should have ruined our race. And the rammer didn't care. So Ewan fired it to the inside, hit hard, didn't didn't really do anything. Uh, Lado fired it, and it really didn't do anything. How is the rammer so... I knew it was quite strong, but I don't know how it was that strong. That was uh, remarkable. It was a great race. Great race between me, um, me Ewan, and Danger Man. Uh, fantastic fun battle uh, right there. Uh, yeah, you said just couldn't do anything about the ram. The ram is just too tough. You can't, you can't move it in those contacts. Um, it will move you, but you won't move it. Seems to be the. Um, I'd say it seems to be the way it goes. Yeah, I'm, I'm very impressed with that car. I knew it was strong. I didn't think it was. I didn't think it would survive hits like that. Um, but that was a great race. I think Danger Man was slightly quicker. Um, I actually done quite similar lap times between me and Danger Man. I think it's because me and you and were fighting. Nine tails is the fastest lap of the race. Bloody hell, that's quick with a limo. Uh, <laughs> but that's maybe not a big surprise. However, the limo did get involved in crashes. Could only end up fourth. We get to our first victory um, of the of the day. Uh, yeah, our car may not have liked jumps. It didn't like the jumps, but uh, did not care one bit if it got hit a lot, which is uh, yeah, very very impressive. Um, Right, where shall we go next? Uh, let's go here. Actually, let's go to the short circuit. Short circuit's always fun. Six laps, why not? Uh, Super Chats. Uh, Gigi, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that one correctly, but thank you very much. I don't, actually don't even know if that's what that what, what those characters are. Um, or JJ, maybe? Um, thank you very much for the Super Chat. Uh, Say, so Alex, I found your channel last year and been hooked to almost all of your video ideas since then. Oh, well, thank you very much. Uh, do you do you plan to make a video with Sidemen, love from India? I mean, <laughs> I suspect I wouldn't be given the time of day uh, by by them. Uh, that's a considerably bigger channel. Um, right there. But uh, who knows? Who knows what may happen in the future? But uh, <laughs> thank you very much. For the for the super chat, it is uh, very much appreciated indeed. Uh, did this actually load the track in? Anybody remember if it loaded the track in? Because I was busy reading. Don't I? Don't know why I get the feeling it didn't. Uh, trying to watch back on the stream, but I can't tell. Uh, I'm just going to go and just to be safe, I'm going to load a different circuit. Don't worry, we're not going here. I'm just making sure. Um, when I was cycling back through the stream, it, I couldn't tell, but that was one. Oh, the track did load. Oh, well, that's fine then. Don't worry, ignore this. We're just we're just checking to make sure that the circuit loaded. Uh, do, 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 all of that is fine. Okay, very straightforward track, this one. Uh, <laughs> there is some danger, like the turn two, three... Sex part is very dangerous. Good overtaking spot, very dangerous. Overtaking spot, essentially. I might try the road cutter here. There's no bumps. Road cutter very fast in a straight line. This could be the track for our immense road cutter with good old, what was it, Bruce the Shark, I believe, on the back. Let's go and bring the road cutter. Let's give it a try. This is the sort of track where if it's going to work out, I would. I say hope. Oh, hello, Kitty Kess. Hello. How are you doing today? Are you hot? Are you enjoying the aircon office as well? You're very noisy. 
Yes, I know. Do you want to come and... You will never go and be that loud on the microphone. Yeah, you might, that one might have worked. We might have got that one. No, you're going to headbutt my legs. <laughs> That's fine. We have a kitty cat here. I don't actually know where Eve is. Well, I, I say I don't know. She was downstairs on the sofa when I, before I came up to start a stream. So I presume she's still comfy and fast asleep on the sofa. Uh, because, of course, she, well, to be fair, Eve can pick where she wants to sleep. Normally, it is on my feet, making lying in bed very uncomfortable. Uh, <laughs> Cass, everyone heard you. There's a quiet meow. You have a loud meow. There we go. <laughs> you are a very cute cat. Um, Cass, Cass always has to... If, if it is the day for the cats in the office, uh, Cass always has to come and say hello at some point. He secretly likes the attention, even if he hates everyone. Well, not hate, he's scared of everything. He is... Well, he's... He, he, he is, he is a, very, a very shy cat. Although he is starting to be braver around the dog, as well, eventually. It's only been, like, two years, nearly. <laughs> he's... Uh... Yeah. He's very shy. But, there we go. Uh, right. We have got almost everyone ready. We're just waiting. Oh, we are ready to go. Okay. No, this is of all the tracks. I'd really like to be higher. I feel like this is the track that this car could be really strong at, and we are just a very long way back. Uh, although we've got a great start. We are around the outside, but it's a great start for the road cutter here. Uh, Ick is going to find themselves out wide, and we will make the most of our opportunity. So yeah, we can now get to the inside. Oh. Uh, we got the car hooked on Danger like, So Danger Man wasn't really turning across into us there. Just our, our front end was hooked on the bumper. So we were just... Well, we were essentially turning, pit manoeuvring Danger Man across into us. Uh, which you don't want to be doing. Uh, we are to the inside. Oh no, someone hit the wall through there. Now that's given Stevie a lovely... We've just basically pushed our way through. This car is pretty strong. Uh, so it can push its way through if needed. Uh, which we did down there. Stevie is... Has the lead, but it's not its not a huge lead because Ninetales is right there. Uh, we are once again alongside Danger Man. Here comes the road cutter's straight line speed. The Venom's not slow, I'll say that much, but the road cutter is past. We are up into fifth. Aaron is the car ahead, and Ninetales is to the lead of the race. Mining the curbs through there, they can be a little bit nasty. Uh, we'll go through that change of direction. We've got a load of speed. It is to the inside. Oh, Lado's going to fire it. That mini is very, very quick. Lado is alongside. Aaron is out wide. I can't, <laughs> can't give space to Aaron, unfortunately, because all the space to the inside was taken up by a mini. That mini's rapid. I said we're quick in a straight line, but we cannot match the acceleration of the mini. I mean, we'd be stronger than the mini. Oh, we have sent it through that corner. Uh-oh, not going to make this one. No, nope, pushing too hard. We have got ourselves in a world of trouble. Uh, we are going to be all out of shape going through here. There. God damn it. <laughs> I thought I could get away with it. The first part off the circuit wasn't too bad, but it just put us out of position for the final corner. And once you've got that wheel on the dirt, you are not recovering from that. We are back past Aaron again, who also had their own little adventure into the sand. It happens quite a lot around this circuit. Where if, you, if you push it a smidge too hard, you end up in trouble. Yeah, but Nightels is buggering off up at the front. Can we find a way past Ewan and Danger Man? That's really where our fight is here. That was as close to the wall as I dare get. <laughs> we want to. We want desperately, of course, to try and pass the cars ahead. We are driving it as hard as I dare, but... Yeah, getting incredibly close to the concrete. We'll make one misstep, and we are going to be in a lot of trouble driving like that. It's quick, but it is risky. We do need to take these risks, though, if we're going to make any positions up here. We're going to have to go for it. Can we... We're not going to find a way past here. That's a little too tight to align, actually. Through there. Oh, Lado found the wall! <laughs> and I was full commit. <laughs> Sorry, Lado. <laughs> uh, he did not bump the mini forward in a helpful way. I was already full commit at that point. I was really hoping the car wasn't going to end up backed in front of us unfortunately it was and uh, yeah funnily enough 
bump starting a mini at about 60 mile an hour. Not so great. Ninetales is going to take the victory. It's going to be Stevie in second. We are going to cross the line in sixth. We could not do anything. We were catching Ewan. I think we... Um, I think we had a good car in terms of... Not as fast as, as, as Nightales, of course. Yeah, we had a good car in terms of pace. We were right there with, with Stevie, Gliska, Danger Man, you, and we were all in that sort of high 34 section. And then there's Nightales, a second and a half, clear of all of us. Uh, <laughs> this, I'll tell you what, Valentine's vehicle was very fast. I imagine Lado's, yeah, Lado's was also very quick. Uh, so yeah, Lado's Mini was very fast. The, the thing was... The thing was always going to be with the Mini, it's very quick, but if there's any contact, it's in trouble. Uh, and uh, yeah, you will find. The, the small light cars are great. The Boomer RS was also, yeah, incredibly quick. I presume was stuck in traffic around the place. Which happens sometimes. Um, unfortunately, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Stevie wins the Formula 1.5 race that we have going on. It's basically what we have half the time here. Occasionally, occasionally, someone puts in, someone, you know, has a great car, puts in a great performance, where they are faster than Ninetales, but more often than not, Ninetales is a second a lap quicker than the rest of us. <laughs> That's just very fast at this game. Right, shall we go? Our first time today to the legendary, to the best circuit. I say best circuit. It kind of is. It is kind of one of my favourites, to be fair. We are going to Hell Ride. Now, the rules are the same as they were with the with the Death Loop. You must always take the jump. If you are pushed away, if you physically can't take the jump, if it's full of broken car, whatever, of course, fair enough. Take the alternate lines through it. But if you can, if you can take the jump, you must. Now, do we go... I'm thinking maybe a bit more strength. I'm thinking... I'm thinking we go... I'm not going to go for crazy strength like a Grand Duke. I'm going to try my hot shot here. I know this is by no means my fastest B-class car, but my hope is that this will finish. This race is... Beside, between this and Recknado, those are the heaviest attrition races we will come to. This is heavier attrition than Recknado as well. Um... So, yeah, we're going for... We're going for the hot shot because I think it is my best chance of finishing. Uh, no guarantee. Even though it's strong, no guarantee it's going to finish. Um, you can get unlucky. You can you can just be unlucky. You can get hit in these. and uh, Yeah, you fall off the ramp in the middle, you're going to be in trouble, generally speaking. Uh, and, of course... Everyone knows this is a race of attrition, which means everyone's getting in their strong vehicles. Trophy runner, very heavy duty. The hearse is strong, the limos can be strong, war wagon can be strong. Uh, and I'm presuming they will be built that way. I can't I can't say that now. Ewan's also got a hot shot. Grand Duke, heavy. I don't know what the Ravens are like uh, in terms of their strength. I've never really used a Raven very much. Uh, I don't know what well, Ninetales has got the Bandit Ripper at the moment. I don't know if that's what they're actually going to be using. I'm going to presume not. Hammerhead probably can be quite strong. Um, okay, nine does go for a bullet. Might be one of the weaker vehicles here, but it will probably be quicker. <laughs> That's the thing. If you if you do have the lightweight car, like I got my Hammerhead RS or something out, it would be very fast over a lap. It's just I don't know whether it would make it to the finish line. I would. I would. This is the sort of track that the road cutter would be great at if it wasn't for the fact that the bump and the jump would absolutely kill it. Uh, so, hence why we are not using it. Uh, we are off and underway here as we head up to the ramp. Well, I mean, that's, that's the, you mean, you, both, both me and Ewan have been pushed away from the jump. I mean, what can I do at that point? We were literally nudged off the ramp. I can't get my vehicle back on it again. So, there we go. Yeah, you don't really, to be fair, you don't even really want to push an opponent off the ramp there. Oh, Ewan, I think I might have lag-murdered Ewan down there, but I'm not sure. Me and Danger Man are side by side in the air. This can only end badly for one of us. Somehow it didn't. Honestly, don't quite know how that happened, but we have both survived. Nine Tails is leading the way. Uh, big shot. Oh, God. Danger Man 
opted to go the other way around. We do generally have a system. We do generally... Well, you can drive the track either way, but because of the fact that you don't want to run into cars, we have generally designed, designed a system. You play this long enough, and you just learn the way we go around here. Uh, Danger Man, I guess, got nudged the other way. Oh, God, there was an argument on the ramp between Stevie and someone, and now Stevie's going the other way as well. Please don't let Stevie be up on the wall. They were not, thankfully. I think they may have caused chaos. Oh! Oh, God. We might have murdered a Danger Man, or we may have not have done. There was a little bit of laggy decent going on there. Uh, yeah, I mean, I was on the brakes hard, and I just couldn't pull my car up in time in that one. Uh, yeah, okay, so this thing was not as good handling as I was expecting it to be. Um, that's just something that we're going to have to be aware of. Uh, now, there is a trophy runner in the middle of the road. Night Owls is miles... Oh, no, actually, Night Owls is not miles out in front, which makes me think Night Owls may have had an accident on here. We should go through a car on the jump. I think we did. Night Owls has lost an absolute heap of time. I think Night Owls may be down to three wheels. Night Owls is losing absolute stacks of time. No! Not another one. I keep hitting cars down there. I mean, it's not really done much to me. Hey, Lado. Uh, oi, we are all jumped over that. We've almost hit Crane. They've had an immense flip. No, so Night Owls is down to three wheels. Night Owls is in a three-wheel bullet, and that will be struggling for pace. Uh, we are around the outside. Oh, we're about to fall over. Lado was sticking up very high on the wall. I mean, it's great for speed, but you do have to get off it at some point. That is the scary part. Lado's car is very quick. Um, there is a Ewan. No, that's not a Ewan. That was the car that we hit before I got nudged. I am frantically trying to keep my car under control there. We were almost in a lot of trouble. Oh, Lado was almost in a lot of trouble as well. Okay, I mean, we are alive in this race with a lot of health at the moment, which is fantastic. Uh, I will, I'm happy to be on lap four uh, with 90 health. That is great news. It's not about to be 90 health anymore. I saw that at the last second and I couldn't avoid it. Ow. Does my car still drive? We hit the sign. I'm okay, but I'm stuck. We're beached. It has only dropped me to sick. And we still have all our wheels. <laughs> I'm not okay. I'm not healthy anymore. Uh... I saw on the map Stevie was there. I, I thought and hoped that we were going to be just over the jump before Stevie got there. I was wrong. I was wrong. That was a big hit. That was a very big hit. And my lovely, all of my lovely health bar has gone away. Uh, it was so nice. <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything. That was the commentator's curse in full effect. Oh, there is a tumbling limo heading down the road. Now we've lost even more of our health. I mean, we're fourth place at the moment. This is the battle for a spot on the podium. And if I did anything other than the hot shot, we would probably not have survived that. That was a tremendous accident. Ewan and Danger Man are having a bit of a kerfuffle down there. Uh, Ewan... No, it wasn't Ewan. No, it was. It wasn't down there. Not sure. Because uh, we were only, like... Or maybe it was... Oh, it might have been Ewan. Cause it might have been Ewan. I don't know. I'm confused. We're third. Lado's had problems. Lado's hit lots of problems. I think Lado may be down to three wheels. Lado certainly lost a heap of time. I don't know what my car was grumbling about through there. My car wasn't liking it. Uh, we are coming off the bank, you know. I think Giraffe is probably doing what they did last time, which was play it really safe and just keep the car alive. Oh, Danger Man. A three-wheel Danger Man just flew overhead. Giraffe's not playing it safe anymore. Giraffe's had a big roll and is in trouble. Lado now. Will Lado be up on the banking? Yes, that's why I ducked down. I didn't want to have a head-on crash. No need for it. We are in the lead of the race now. Somehow, after all of this, we are leading. Oh, that was a good landing. Okay, we're on lap six. We have five-second lead over Valentine. I don't know what they're driving. Uh, Valentine... Oh, God, so the ladder's fallen ten seconds down. But he's still third. He's just lost out to Stevie. So they're still circulating. I think there may only be four of us still alive. I don't know if anybody is still going behind Stevie. I haven't seen a Danger Man's out. That's what's left of Danger Man's vehicle. Oh, no, that thing is still driving. The Mustang is still having a go. Uh, I am now driving very cautiously. I'm currently in a state of just survive. Uh, so we are not really hitting the jumps hard. We've got a big gap over Valentine, so there's no need. I don't really need to run the walls anything crazy. There is Stevie uh, at the moment. Where is the wreck of ladder? I think we're about to jump over it. We are. Uh, oh, no. 
God damn it. We cleared Lado. Wow, three vehicles remain. Holy crap, this is more attrition than we've seen from the buses. Valetane has the most health. No, Stevie, the hearse, has the most health. Lado's car is in an awful way. It is down to three wheels. It is barely alive. But it is still going. Stevie has just gone to take the lead of the race as we head on to the final lap of this I mean, it's just become survival. This might be the highest rate of attrition we've ever seen in a car race here. Bus races we've seen this level don't normally see this um, level of attrition with cars around here, but it has been seriously punishing. Uh, Stevie's hearse is uh, in the best shape. Valentine's Volvo, Valentine's Hammerhead is all, all, all messed up. It's still going, though, and that is the bit that matters. Oh, <laughs> the hearse almost fell over. That would be a terrible way to lose it at the end. But it didn't. It, it came back down. It landed on its wheels. Stevie will round uh, the final corner, and it is Stevie that claims a victory in this one. It will be Valentine that claims second. Lado's three-wheeled wreck is still going and is going to get on the podium. Regardless of what happens, uh, it will be on the podium. We were killed, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, Stevie did essentially do the damage that killed us. Uh, it wasn't the, the killing blow, but vast majority of our health was taken off in a crash with Stevie. Stevie wouldn't have known anything about it, I didn't, until the last second. Uh, we were fired, we hit the Hellride side. The fact that we were running for so long after hitting the Hellride side is quite impressive. It's indicative of just how strong the hot shot is. Uh, Lado is going to just run the time out and make it across the finish line. Uh, well done. I mean, well done to everybody who survived at the end of the day. Um, yeah. Nine tails of the fastest lap of the race, but it was all for naught <laughs> when it lost a wheel. Quite a nine tails was stuck on three wheels for a while before it got killed. That was that was crazy destructive. That was crazy destructive. Um, that's what that's it. That's that is the joy slash entertainment um, of of hell rides. That's why it's probably my favourite favourite circuit on on the game in some ways. But uh, yeah, that was great fun. Uh, shall we go Hill Street? That's always an entertaining track to go racing around. We go from the maddest circuit to I mean, it's a little bit mad. It's a good it's a good track. Um, but we shall see. Um, what am I going to drive here? Hammerhead, maybe. Yeah, probably a sensible, sensible option. Don't worry if you're just tuning in. If you missed, if you just missed the uh, the hell ride, don't worry. We will come back to hell ride. Hell ride will happen again. There will be there will be plenty of hell rides. Well, there's not gonna be all. There's not gonna just be hell ride, but there will be more visits to hell rides. Don't you worry. We just have to spread out the chaos. We have some sensible races. We have some some chaotic ones, and hell ride will come will come back around. I mean, the finale will always be buses. But we'll probably do it. To be fair, it's, it's still good fun with the cars. Um, as you saw there, even though we had cars, it was just as destructive. Evie, did I hear a meow from you? I don't know. I thought I did. Um, it was a, a meow from the... She was probably doing her wake-up meow. I don't know anyone else who has cats, if your cats do this, where they are fast asleep, and as they wake up, as they stretch when they wake up, they just let out a mighty meow. Uh, <laughs> Eve does. Cass doesn't. Cass is quiet, but, uh, yeah, Eve, Eve does. Um, and, of course, there is also the activation sound, where if a cat is quietly sat there and you, like, touch them, pet them, stroke them, prod them, whatever, they make a funny little squeak. Both 
they, they, they will all do it. As far, as far as I know, they all do it. I don't know if anyone has a cat that doesn't. Um, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. Any, any, if you wake them up, they will have, uh, they have a funny, a funny little squeaky activation sound. If they're, unless they literally watch you the whole time. But, uh, yeah, there we go. I, I think Eve was just doing her sleepy meow. Uh, right. Crane is not ready at all here. Uh, what we got? I mean, it's going to be sensible cars around here. Nexus is likely to be quick. Uh, see, like, there's, there's potential to be very, to be fast. Someone, I think they are trying to shout at Crane. They're <laughs> doing the vote kick as to try and get Crane's attention. We're not actually trying to kick Crane out. Either Crane is the AFK or has just forgotten to press ready up, which is honestly quite likely, let's face it. Um, I'm going to guess... I'm going to guess AFK, because the party will have shouted at him. But either way, we're going to start in a couple of seconds, regardless. Oh, and has got ready up at the very last second. Right, nice spot on the grid, which probably means something's going to go terribly wrong at the start of this. Uh, we are off, and we are underway. I wanted to try and get to the inside through here, see if we can make up some positions. We can a little bit. We are on the inside of Stevie on the run down the hill. Now, you don't want to go, I don't really want this line because the curb might launch us. It didn't. Uh, oh, Aaron's in the concrete. We did manage to get to the inside of Smallman. That was kind of the goal slightly there. Lado's having a look to the inside. Not quite going to be spaced there. But I will take, say, the third place. The Super Venom is going to have a look. I don't know if it's going to have the speed to do that. Oh, up here. No. Oh. A load of understeer. We found a concrete barrier. We'll have the we'll have the inside through that section. But we've both got understeer and out wide. Might give Stevie the place. Uh, or Ewan is going to. Oh God! Ewan shot through a gap. <laughs> Ewan shot through a gap that barely existed, but almost existed. However, the danger of that gap was heading towards a tire bundle, and I think Ewan hit that one quite hard. Uh, either way, it's nine tails at the front of the race. Uh, we have lost some ground at the start of this. That curb is mean. We went for it. Like the, the ideal line does often involve risking it on the curb. Well, we get pushed deep into that corner. Uh, don't, to be fair, I don't know whether Valentine was assisted. There's a lot of cars that have also fired up the inside through there, but that's okay. I think they, they waited by the looks of it. Uh, you know, they've lost a heap of places as well in all of this. Gliska may be about to find the same wall that I did last lap. Oh, and we get a tag from Ewan. There was just enough to put us round. <laughs> oh, that was the lightest of bumps. Uh, Ewan very kindly waited. Um, but honestly, that was such a light, such a light piece of contact. It was a light piece of contact just when the car was like fully loaded up and it was all it took to, uh, to upset it. Small man is having a go to the inside. I... I tried to hold that around the outside. Maybe I would have been better off uh, cutting my losses on that one. I couldn't quite make it work. Uh, we are maybe going to be able to get a good run on the exit here. Oh! Ow! Well, we murdered second place. Uh, well, I mean, we more got murdered ourselves, to be honest. We have caused chaos in all of this. Um, oh! Well... My poor hammerhead is very broken. Valentine has it's gone wrong. It's gone wrong for a few of us. Um, Casey has had a very bad time. Valentine's had a very bad time. Valentine wasn't the one that got hit, so I don't quite know how that went. They got spun in all the mayhem that was going on there. Uh, so, yeah, oh God, what is my frame rate doing? Oh, it's got all manners of funky. Oh, there we go. Back to being smooth. Uh, yeah, there was chaos. And this is just because the field spread is, is now as it is. Uh, the crossover becomes a lot more dangerous, and every lap it's changing. I don't know where we are in terms of in terms of the crossover now because we've lost a whole heap of time. Uh, the, you know, oh god, my car got jittery over there. Is there going to be stuff at the crossover? Yep. Oh god, someone got obliterated. I think that might have been Danger Man. I'm not sure. The blue Super Venom has been disintegrated by a war wagon. It has got going again, but that's had a bad day. Uh, it is Danger Man, yeah, has, has lost a heap of positions. This crossover is now just super dangerous. Not for Giraffe, whose vehicle is on a lot of health. Mine, surprisingly, is still at almost half health. I'm actually incredibly surprised, because we took some big hits in this race so far. 
but uh, yeah. I, Ninetales is far enough away that they're not really, they're certainly not going to get caught by us at the crossover, but they might get caught by like the cars in fifth or sixth. Don't know. We can't see far enough forward to know what's happening with the vehicles up there. Um, my car is all sorts of funny shape and my front left wheel is barely touching the ground, although it hasn't really affected our performance as much as you would think. The fact that my front left wheel is completely locked up. Uh, it doesn't really affect us. Oh. I was looking at the corner, was not looking at the cross traffic, and we murdered. I was busy looking to try and overtake like Crane and the cars ahead of us, and I wasn't looking to see if Ewan was coming there. Well, we murdered, absolutely murdered Ewan. Uh, <laughs> so this is the downside. This circuit, there is the downside to the weaker cars like a Nexus. If you do get hit at the crossover, even though Ewan's got more health than me. Ewan has lost a wheel and all the speed with it. Tell you what, we have been a menace un completely unintentionally. Just where we have fallen in the traffic has not been good for everybody. Uh, my car has lost significant performance, I can tell you that. Uh, now, not in the handling department, but in the engine and power department. And uh, it is not great. This race has been quite destructive as well. Uh, I mean, it often, as I often, it can be, because there is a crossover. Oh. See, I was trying to avoid doing that, and indeed we have. No! Not more cars there. I was trying to stay ahead of small man. Bloody hell, I have not got the judgment right. I thought I was going across in front of them, and I have not got the uh, the judgment right of where the cars are going to appear. I am on fire. How is my car alive at this point? I don't know. There's a lot of fire from it, both from the exhaust and apparently from the cabin. I feel like at this point you would pull over and just accept that things have gone wrong. We're going to trundle our way around in 12. Could have been better. My car is, is much faster there. However. However. <laughs> once it started going wrong, it carried on going wrong for a long time. And yeah. I don't think we actually got a clean lap. Funnily enough. Ninetales wins. Lado is in second. I mean, we might have tried to murder Kezia, but... This should end up third. Fair play. Uh, Gliska was a bit unlucky. And we hit... Uh, was it Gliska we hit? I think it was on the at the end there. Uh, Danger Man recovered to sixth after getting whacked on the crossover as well. Ewan was not so lucky in the crossover section. Um, God, we have made a compact hammerhead by the end of that. Uh... <laughs> We've made like a V40 out of an 850. <laughs> oh. Bloody hell. Um, uh, Lado, thank you for the uh, super chat saying, sometimes you have those ping pong ball races. Yep. Yeah, they do happen. They do happen on that one. Um, uh, especially at a track like that. Sometimes it just goes horribly, horribly wrong. Um, I apologize. I apologize to everyone that I hit in that. I had no intention of hitting anybody, but yeah, crossovers, crossovers do cause that, and crossovers shall cause more because we are going to the Kingston Raceway. This is always a good figure of eight. Um, this one. I... Do I go buggy? I mean, the real question is: Do I drive the bulldog that I love driving? And I know, so I know this will be unbelievably strong in terms of performance. I should say, lap time-wise, this will be very quick. But if slash when it gets hit, it's going to be very poorly, very quickly. I mean, my other good C-Class cars, the Gremlin survives a little bit better. The Raven would survive a bit better, but it's going to be quite slow. I mean, you've got the limo that's immensely strong. I think we got... Uh, I could drive a buggy. I haven't driven that. I haven't driven my buggy today. Also good handling, but also going to be made of paper mache and hope. Ah, screw it. If we get clonked, we get clonked. Um, <laughs> Crane has a sofa. Shadow is also on their sofa. Lado has a sofa. Ah, oh, have we got a sofa race occurring? In between the filming crew. Uh, oh. Game is frozen. <laughs> uh, do I have... 
I do have my sofa. Go on then. We'll join. We'll join the L sofa race. <laughs> Who will be? See, this will become a two-tier race. It'll be the battle of the sofas, and it'll be the battle to not die as a sofa, while there is some other stuff around the place. Um, we will find the all-important question of, of who is the sofa king or queen. Um, probably not me. I'm generally not very good with these cars. Um, we will see, though. We will We will see. Aaron has a buggy. <laughs> uh, Shadow has changed out of the sofa. Shadow has betrayed the sofa squad and got a, got a tri-star. Uh, I think everybody is actually just grabbing it. We're just going to have a sofa race. Um, I should, if we're going to do that, I'm. Um, hold on, hold on. If everyone's in a sofa. I'm not doing 15 laps in a sofa. Uh, there we go. <laughs> we'll put it down to eight. Oh well, Finland. There is one car. There is one car to rule them all. Go, Valentine. Go. Uh, Oh, someone's already come out of their sofa. I don't know who it was. Run them over for good luck. Uh, no, wait, hold on. That's definitely not how it works. Uh, <laughs> do not run over someone for good luck. Uh, come on, Giraffe. We must go quicker. We must go quicker with the sofas. I would like... No, oh, no, I'm not quite going to get to the... Oh, I might get to the inside here, actually. There we go. But then we're on the wrong side for the next corner. There was some wheelieing. Oh, Giraffe bounced off the curb. Uh, yeah... Not very often you get to say the sentence, someone is wheeling their sofa, but it does happen with these. They have a little bit of weird physics, especially over the jumps. Uh, oh, God. I mean, they've got the shortest wheelbase in the world, so it's perhaps not a surprise, but they sometimes do things that are a little bit odd. Now, for the moment, the race is fairly tame. Uh, Gliska's been ejected from their sofa. Uh, we are in the battle for a podium spot at the moment. Uh, so yeah, while while the pack is close together, it'll just be a normal enough race. If things get spread out, that is when it's going to get interesting. I don't quite know how the sofas are going to cross over. Oh god, with three wide in sofas, it is not a thing you normally want to do. Don't fall over, don't fall over. Is there going to be a vehicle on the inside? Lado really wanted to get there, understandable, but could not quite make that one work. Uh, we have a bit of a bigger lift on the way into that corner. Yeah, I kind of do want to protect the inside a little bit more. Don't want a uh, sofa being fired up the inside. Hello, Crane. Uh, oh, we're running a bit. I'm not an understeer through there. I mean, it is to be expected. Oh, there's a runaway sofa. Was that? Oh, that was Nine Tails. Nine Tails has fallen out of their sofa. Aaron leads the way here on lap number five. Nine Tails don't know what happened. May have got hit on the crossover didn't see. Uh, if they did, I didn't see who who would have hit them. But, uh, yeah, Ninetales with a big problem through there. Danger Man getting perilously close to hitting someone on the crossover. I've had a uh, not a terrible lap. It's, it's sort of sat at very much of a muchness uh, in terms of distance to the vehicle ahead and to the vehicle. Oh, no, that was also a little bit of time. Danger Man's run wide here, which has helped me greatly. Uh, oh, Danger Man, Danger Man basically does not want to have to go on the brakes at all on this crossover. I don't blame them. We've caught Aaron a little bit this time around, uh, but at some point this is going to get too close for comfort here. Oh, Aaron's had a bad couple of laps. I've set an identical lap time to my previous lap, which is quite impressive to have been able to do. Uh, oh, I click the inside. Oh. <laughs> No one lifted. I didn't either in that. And I'm going to guess the vehicle going past didn't. This could... that Whoever's that one in the crossover might decide this race. It's not... all. Oh, I'm not going to be able to go in my way. I had to break to go between them. Aaron claims victory. Danger Man is second. We are third. I think Lado ends up fourth in this one. Nine Tails could only manage fifth uh, with the sofa after leading for a while. Uh, ended up getting fired out of it. Me and Danger, me and Danger Man were flying towards the end of that. Um, Danger Man with the fastest lap of the race. Um, yeah, we were into the 22s. I mean, there are a few vehicles into the 22s. Oh, didn't want that one. Uh, but there we go. Aaron, Aaron did a win. 
Aaron did a win. Does that mean Chris has to go bald again? <laughs> does that does that rule apply to Wreckfest? Did we ever decide if if that rule applied to Wreckfest? I don't know why I'm having to say that. But I feel like I feel like Chris has to go bald regardless. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, well, well done, Aaron. Um, I don't know where Crane is. Crane's had a bad day. Uh, Anarchist, thank you very much for the super chat. I say this certainly puts a new meaning to couch surfing. <laughs> Try not to fall off the bed. Uh, yeah, there was a few. Nine Tails got fired off the sofa. Don't know what happened. Don't know what happened uh, to cause the chaos with that one. We saw a few people get chucked off of the um, off of the sofas. We had a good race actually. We had a, a nice, sensible, clean, you know, reasonable race right there, which is always which is always nice. Sometimes a surprise, to be honest. Uh which track is this? Is this the one that I think it is? Yeah, okay, we'll go ten laps. Again, it's another short, short lap around here. Uh, the bald Chris definitely applies to Wreckfest. I agree. I agree. I mean, it won't happen, but I am sure Chris will be told at the first possible opportunity that um, once again, you know, needs to go bald and everything. Uh... <laughs> Uh, it's never going to happen, but we're always going to try. <laughs> that's, 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 that, I say that's the motto. Um, all right, let's get the rammer. Let's get the rammer for this one. Um, <laughs> Lado wanted to punt. Uh, I mean, uh, oh, I did not mean to save a screenshot, but never mind. We've got a screenshot of the lobby. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I, I, we've we've had a couple of decent races. We've had a couple, I, don't, I feel like I've had, um, I feel like I've had worse luck with Wreckfest, um, in in some streams. But pretty, I mean, we actually had a very good race with the sofas. Uh, we had we actually had a very good, a very a legitimately good race with the sofas on that one, uh, which is mad to say, but we did. Uh, Copperhead, thank you very much for the super chat, uh, saying bumper car slash lawnmower uh, on track with a head-on collision. Uh, okay, I can think of a couple of places we could run that. I can't remember. I think the lawnmower will probably be the better one. Does it's the bump because the bumper car's DLC, so not everyone has it. I think if I've remembered correctly. Um, Oh, there we go. Uh, yes, apparently this is the this is the RS round. Uh, we have a Boomer RS, a Rammer RS, a Boomer RS and a Boomer RS, and a Raiden RS, and a Rammer RS. It is the RSs versus the world. Uh, I actually personally prefer the normal Rammer to the Rammer RS. I don't... Do I, I don't think I have... Do I have the Boomer RS? I must do. I just think I've ever used it. I don't have anything cool, essentially, to... Um, I, say I, don't have a cool, I don't think I've ever got round to using it. Um, but, ooh, okay, nice spot on the grid, if we can get a good launch, and get ourselves out of trouble early, this could be a good race for us, Danger Man is alongside with the Raiden, oh, and while our vehicle is strong, we did come out second best in that one. Now this track, there is less likely to be complete chaos, uh, this quarter here is difficult, but... It's not like there's going to be a crossover moment. Can't remember which way is quicker through here. Uh, I think they're both quite even. They are just slightly different. Uh, yeah, you've got a couple of different options. I think my car might be slightly better on the dirt than the Raiden, but I'm going to expect that to be a slightly better handling car. And honestly, I suspect they ran a bit better in the game than me. I am not very good at wreck, but it takes me a while to like relearn it uh, every time we play. Probably better than I was at the start of last week's stream, because I got a slight bit... Yeah, I played Wreckfest last week, um, but most of the time I'm a bit rusty at Wreckfest. Um, Danger Man's going that way. I don't know whether that way is quicker. Uh, no, it is pretty even. Actually, I actually think I prefer the way I went. I think that's slightly more open, which in the bigger car is probably for the best. Uh, we are very sideways through that one. Here, do I want second, maybe? Not through there. We had a good, good lap number two. Uh, can we chase down the Raiden? Oh, I, I feel like my car should be better on the bumps, but I don't know whether it actually is. Uh, oh, Danger Man is very wise. See, we were 
nice and tight into the hairpin. We got our vehicle stopped well there. Don't bump the wall, don't understeer. Oh, yeah, we did. We got a bit too bigger an air time. That's the downside with that route. If you get it wrong, like we did, you get a lot of air time and you end up wide into the wall. Uh, we are on to the... Oh, God, we're going to be starting catching lap traffic. That is going to be... I say a problem. It's going to be something that we have to deal with around here. Uh, and we've got nine tails behind us. Never the sight you want to see. Oh, actually not doing that. We might try. Please make sure I'm going to stop it down here. I did as well, though. Uh, shall we try going this way? See what our car is like right through there. Uh, I mean, it's not bad. It's not really gained at all. Nine tails has fallen over going that way. Yeah, it's very much of a muchness. I've got to try and follow Danger Man. See if I could uh, see if I was quicker through there than they were. But then they went the other way. So at the moment, we are just doing the opposite to what uh, what Danger Man does. We have a well. We need Danger Man to have a scruffy lap, I think, because we've had a little bit of an iffy one. Danger Man is just going that little bit faster than we are, but he's going to run into traffic now. Uh, he's a three-wheeled boomer or tri-star or something. I am going to... I mean, we're going to avoid the traffic. Oh, no, I think I'm better going the other way. I think just the size of my car is probably better going through the other one. Got to get the jump right. We just got that one all wrong, and that's cost us probably a second and a half, almost Oop, through there. Ah. Right. Okay. We are over half distance now. We're catching a few three-wheeled vehicles. We have slightly lost lost touch with that Raiden. Is that crane down? Oh, that is crane exploded up there. That's obviously quite impressive to have uh, got broken up on that bit. Uh, I don't really want to follow a car through here, but I do feel like my car is preferable. Oh, God. Why did that switch so much on the landing? I don't know. Got very unhappy with the landing, and Danger Man has pulled even further clear. Danger Man has just found some speed with that car that uh, I am not allowed, and I'm not able to go with. I don't have access to. Oh, well, thank you very much to whoever that may be who has kept out of the way. Uh, that is much appreciated. I think they were trying to keep out of the way. Maybe their car was just so broken they couldn't turn. It's possible around this circuit, or around any circuits, to be honest. But uh, I think it was uh, an intentional out of the way. Uh, I just can't. I can't risk going to the uh, right. Wait, hold on. Oh, Danger Man's had trouble. I don't know what happened. Danger Man has had an accident. Danger Man has hit something. I don't think there was any other cars around, so I think Danger Man's done that on their own. Now, they have still got a couple of laps. They have still got a chance to catch back up. We saw how fast that Raiden was going. This could be difficult unless that car has sustained significant damage, uh, which we slightly hope for. But, yeah, I suspect what will happen is Danger Man will take the alternate route through here and probably just be able to carry enough speed to pass us. I think maybe Danger Man went wide and hit the wall and spun. It's weird to see it backwards through there. Uh, the Raiden is already right behind us. It is just a bit too quick for us. Uh, I was trying to just block the inside. Danger Man, you know what? You can do that because I'm now going to return serve and get back past again. I don't think it'll matter this lap around. I mean, we will fight as hard as we can through this section. We have the bigger and heavier car. You don't want to get involved in a pushing battle with the rammer. We saw it at uh, Crash Canyon. The problem is Danger Man doesn't have to. All they have to do is go the other way through here, carry enough speed so they can get out in front. They don't quite this time. We were on maximum attack through that section, and it has worked. Uh, we are going to cover the inside as hard as we can down here. Uh, <laughs> this is, it is defensive. It is maximum defensive driving. There was a Stevie on the apex. The Raiden is all over the back of us. The Raiden is now alongside. Oh, God, it made contact, and neither of us had any steering at that point. Right, into the hairpin we go. Can we cut underneath the Raiden? We can. We are going to be side by side. We're going to be side by side heading into the directions that we wanted to take. Come on, Rammer. Find some grip. Find some traction. It's not quite enough. Will, what will Danger Man do into the final corner? If don't cover the inside, we will try and send it. Ah, oh, we can't stop it. Although, oh, I'll drive for the line. 
Uh, it was. We were always going to send it at the inside on the final corner. But that Raiden is just too fast. The Raiden is just way too fast. Um, yeah, we tried. We tried desperately to get it. Um, we just span the wheels through there. Valentine gets up into third. Ewan is fourth. Nine Tails ends up in fifth. Uh, and then it is uh, quite a few DNFs actually. Quite a few more vehicles um, fell out in this one, which surprises me. Small man Aaron, Giraffe, and Crane all DNF'd. Um, yeah, that, that raided mighty quick. Christ, I had no answer to that one whatsoever around here. Um, yeah, I think we threw we threw everything that we realistically could have done at that one. Uh, but there we go. Oh, that looks like a broken rammer. <laughs> and there's a broken Stella. And there's a broken Sunrise. <laughs> oh. Hello, Kitty Kiss. Hello. Have you come back? Have you come back to uh, to be supportive? Ah, uh, that was that was a great race. Um, you, <laughs> Deja Man is absolutely correct. They made it far more difficult for themselves than they needed to, because they had a massive lead when they crashed. Um, but that is it's a fast and narrow track. It is easy to make mistakes like that. It is easy to end up in trouble, um, in in ways like that around there. So yeah. Uh, right, where shall we go next? I mean, I feel like we haven't been here yet today. I feel like, let's go Ragnado. Now, this is, generally speaking, one of the higher rates of attrition in terms of events. Not likely to be as high as Hellride, but is probably the second most destructive of circuits. So the question does really become, what do you run? Do you run something strong in the hope that, you know, your last one's standing? Do you run something fast in the hope that your lap times will be enough? I do tend to go lap times around this circuit. Uh, I mean, this actually surprisingly got a weird amount of strength. You know what? I'm not driven it today. Let's have a go with our speed. I don't think this is a particularly great car, but for the sake of variety... We will go um, and see what happens. <laughs> see, see what happens with this race. I would probably expect. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll play the guessing game. Chat, join in. How many vehicles finish the race? I'm guessing eight. It's not likely to be as destructive as Hellride, but it is likely to be destructive. Uh, but when the when the numbers start to dwindle down it then becomes a bit less destructive. So when there's all 16 cars running, it's madness. But as the cars get knocked out, admittedly cars are broken, but uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going with a solid, i say a solid guess of eight. Um, chat so far has been guessing five or six. <laughs> uh, Mr. Sumo suspecting I'll be dead in four laps. Right, we've got to beat four laps. That will be the that will be the goal. Can we survive long? I'm, I don't have. I have terrible luck on this circuit. I'm either wrecked or slow. There's not really an in between. Uh, I just yeah, I just don't have good luck around here. Um, we've got some brave guesses. Uh, Eric reckoning ten. Ten could finish. Small man reckoning eleven. Yeah, if that many could finish, that would be quite good. Um, But we will, we will, we will absolutely see what we got in terms of. Uh, we haven't got too many crazy strong. Danger Man's got the trophy runner. That'll be tough. The Sandstorm's not particularly. Uh, there's a Grand Duke. Sandstorm. It's not particularly tough actually. It's a big vehicle. It's a sand rail like buggy thing. It's a big vehicle, but I don't think it's that strong. Yeah, there's not. I don't know if the start. I don't actually know what the SS Star Beast is like. Maybe that could be strong. I bet that's not though. A couple of war wagons can be tough. And Nine Tails has a hearse. Well, <laughs> that might be one to be scared of a little bit. Um, we will see. So, so if Alex Rex in four laps or less, he needs to drink coffee for a week. <laughs> no, don't tell Carly that one, because <laughs> uh, she will she will she will make me. Um, but there we go. Right, it is time for maybe time for racing. Everyone, oh no, wait. I was going to say everyone's ready. No, they're not quite. Uh, Finland is changing their vehicle, uh, and it's going to be okay. 
We will see. See how stuff fares. Yeah, I don't really know how this is going to go. I don't think my speed demon is great. But I think this was a car that was built for one of the tournaments. This is the car that was built for the tournament that I ended up using the road cutter for instead because I just much preferred the way the road cutter drives. Um, this is surprisingly strong for a vehicle that you don't think is going to be particularly strong. But uh, whether that actually translates, sometimes the stats are a little bit misleading. Uh, oh, Lando is around the outside. Oh, I wanted to go around the outside, and there's a little bit of laggy and jittery stuff. Oh, yep, it's gone wrong. We are alive, at least. Could have gone worse. <laughs> I don't know who we hit, but someone we hit also. Was it Crane? I think it might have been Crane. Crane's got off quite well. There was some... Oh, God, that's a big shunt for Aaron and someone else. They've had a bad day in that one. Oh, we need, you need to go higher up on the banking there. If you're going to be doing that, or oh, Giraffe is slow through that section. Danger Man's having issues. Someone's fallen over there. It's that car guy that has uh, turned turtle. Oh. oh, God. Hello. Don't know where I want to be, but probably probably not where I am at the moment. I feel like we're in a dangerous place, and I need to go higher up on the banking. Although, I am worried about my front wheel, actually, if I keep running up on the banking. Oh, Crane has obliterated Shadow. Uh, that was a big hit for Crane there on Shadow. We're going to oh, pull up alongside Crane. Oh, <laughs> that's so close. Uh, see, I don't really want to run the wall. The wall is faster, but it feels like something in my car is digging into the ground, so I'm very concerned that if I run the wall, what I'm going to end up doing is breaking a wheel. So I'm actually not really able to make the most of the wall. Car guy we saw fell over. Oh, God, on the last the last lap. There is the leader. Lado is leading the way at the moment. We are to the outside of car guy. That is a lap down vehicle. Uh, Crane's car is quite quick. Oh, crap! Oh! We landed basically on Lado's roof. We would have decapitated a Lado, and we are now very poorly. Lado is no longer leading the way. Uh, we are no long, not much longer for this world, I don't think. Oh, Crane is crashed. I'm not going to say out. It doesn't look like they are out. Oh, Lado's been murdered. Lado has been absolutely murdered by someone. I don't know whether Lado died in that crash as well. They may well have done. Uh, the, the attrition is starting to kick in now. Uh, we are... Ewan's sandstorm. It looks like it's had its roof cut off. Uh, <laughs> this is the point... I, mean, I don't know how I'm still running around with seven life in four. This is the point, though, where it does start to calm down as a few vehicles are out. Uh, there's just less vehicles hitting the crossovers to cause issues, basically. Um, someone else. We've got another wrecking assist. I don't know who on. Maybe Crane? Uh, oh, well, Crane is out. Uh, oh, Ewan, be careful. Uh, I do not want to be involved. Nine tails, you're a lap ahead. I'm not make. I'm not having an argument with you. Uh, you are a much faster than me, and b much stronger than me, and have much more life. Uh, that being said, I did almost accidentally pit maneuver you. Please don't be mad at me. I was only trying to go this way. Uh, our main concern is Shadow. Um, Nine tails is a long way ahead. I mean, if Nine tails ends up taking out some of the cars around me, I'm okay with that. Don't really mind that. That can that could help me. Probably about the only way we're going to be moving forward uh, is if Ninetales murders Valatane or someone. Oh, Ninetales did get hit in the crossover chaos there. We've unlapped ourselves again. Um, so that's something. I think Ewan is ahead of us. I think Ewan is one of the guys. I think it's Valatane in third, and I think Ewan is in the oh, second position. That's a lot of sliding. Uh, I think that'll be nine tails across the line. Nine tails will take a victory. <laughs> Not like I've said that plenty, uh, but nine tails wins with the hearse. We may well be able to finish this race off in a fourth place. It might become third. Valentine, I think, was involved in a wreck right at the death. It is going to be really close between me and Shadow, but somehow, <laughs> astonishingly. Astonishingly, we end up on the podium. Valentine's war wagon slipped at the very end, 
don't know what happened. Actually, no, Valentine ended up just between me and Shadow. So Valentine was in that bright green one. Don't know quite what happened. Must have got, obviously got hit by something in the crossover. Looks like there's going to be 11 cars that are going to make it to the finish. Car line is, car, uh, car guy, sorry, is still going. Um, who was, I did see somebody guessed 11. It was Small Man that guessed 11. It's Small Man was indeed correct. I survived the race as well for everyone who had no faith in me. Everyone who had no faith in me at all. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, after some heavy damage and after... St <laughs> yeah, I did slightly ruin Lado's race. I'd <laughs> say I'm sorry, Lado. I had no idea we were going to be ending up there. Uh, that was unfortunate. But yep, we we very much... Well, we, ruined our, we also ruined our own race on Lado's car. Because um, we took a lot of damage in that one. Ah, Carly is here. Hello. Um... I have, I, have, I have only just noticed. Um, I mean, I, I, I had a good race. I was on the podium. I somehow made it on the podium, despite being absolutely broken. So you can't say that I sucked too badly this time around. Um, we actually did well. Uh, go on, let's go to Hell Ride. Let's go to Hell Ride. Eight laps. What did we run in it last time? Uh, hello, Cass. What did we do? We run it B class or C class? Uh, I think we ran it in B class. So let's go for the C class machines. Um, hello, your noisy cat. What do you want? You've been fed. Sorry, I'm just having a conversation with Cass. It's all good. Um, <laughs> uh, right. Do we drive? Do we drive the tank knowing how heavy the rate of attrition has been? Do we say stuff it and drive the bulldog knowing it'll be fast? Ah, oh, track didn't load. We can fix that. Let's just go here first and then we will load the track in properly. Um, I don't have a hearse, I'm afraid. I can't use the uh, hearse. Oh, no, I think I should fill in more with saying themselves. Um, Yes, you're very noisy, Kitty Cass. Uh, right, eight laps around here. I don't know what I want to drive. Do I just go and drive? You're really noisy today. I'm sure chat is enjoying the cat commentary. Um, tea, tea is tea is better than coffee. I do like coffee, but tea is better than coffee, and that 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 is uh, that is how it goes. Uh, we haven't driven the limo for a while. Last time we only had three cars finish. So I feel like we're going for... We're going for the heavyweight machine here. Um, we're, going, we're going for survivability rather than outright pace. Um, honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if the cat unplugs the computer. Uh, he would do it as well, just because he wants attention. He is currently sat next to my chair every so often, sort of like climbing onto his back legs to put his paws on the arm of my chair, desperate for attention. So if he thought, if he learned that turning off the computer got him attention, he 100% would do it. Thankfully, he is yet to learn that one, which is good, because then we really would be doomed. Uh... <laughs> Uh, okay, what have we got lining up? D Nine Tails, that's insane. But if anyone can make it work, it'll be Nine Tails. Uh, stock Car is going to die. Uh, Blade is reasonable. El Matador, I presume, a heavy duty one. Shadow also in a heavy duty uh, limo. Giraffe's not sorted their car yet. Little Thrasher, I presume, heavy duty. Uh, Wingman also can be very strong. That's a bus. <laughs> Good luck. Very strong. Very strong. Don't know. Very strong. That's a lone car, so probably I'll end the vandal also strong and a hearse. Oh, good God. Uh, well, there is about to be an awful lot of chaos. There is about to be a lot of broken cars, I suspect. Chris, thank you very much for the nation, by the way. Uh, so in order to start the Citroen Xantia V6 Act, Active a model, you had to enter a passcode. If you tried to start it without the code, you could turn the key, but the engine would not fire. Ah, oh, that sounds like a typical, um, I guess, like 90s 
an early attempt at better car security. God, that sounds like a nightmare. And knowing it being a Citroen, what's the chances wherever you put the passcode in stops working at some point? Um, I'm going to go with it probably will, won't it? Um, yeah, that sounds like... That's just like an added level of unnecessary complications. Uh... <laughs> Oh, the general rule for those that haven't seen Hellride before, I should say, if you have not seen this one, make sure you take the jump. Do not avoid the jump unless you are physically unable to make it. Um, you know, you got to, you got to, you got to run, you got to drive the jump. Uh, I think most of the people in here who already did Hellride all know, know the know the score. Yeah, you've got to take the jump. Don't be boring. Basically, uh, let's try not ruin Lando's race again. Not intentionally. Be fair. Oh God. How has that old physics has happened? Car guy has some lag. Car guy has some lag and it killed Lado. That's un very unfortunate for Lado. But it looks like, oh god, we've got so much speed. Balatane, look out. We are a limo with unlimited power. Uh, <laughs> that's a scary prospect for everybody. Oh, Crane has fallen over. Car guy's had some issues. We are in the lead of the race. A mighty limo has got the lead of the race here. Now, the limo's quite fast in a straight line, it's just terrible handling. You can kind of get away with it to a degree by riding it on the wall, but you ride the wall for too long and the wheel's gonna pop off. A bit like the buses, really. Uh, so, yeah, I don't want to actually be on the wall every time through there. However, we're trying to make the most of this lead. Downside of having the lead like this early on is we are going to probably get hit taking the ramp this time around. Maybe not quite yet, Definitely next time. No, couldn't get on the ramp. I tried. We couldn't. Neither could Car Guy. By the looks of it, behind there was a bus in the way, and then there was something behind the bus that hit you. And I think, um, yeah, couldn't couldn't do it. So like that, those ones there. I mean, I was on the brakes. Uh, I was full lock right to avoid the bus, and then when the when the bus had gone past, I was just out of grip. The limo, funnily enough, doesn't drive very well. Ewan's van is turning up. Oh, God, there's a hearse flying towards us. Uh, Ewan's about to have a death. Yeah, Ewan's death was predictable. So, me and Car Guy have limos with full health, actually. My little hand is so weird on these bankings. It just, like, jitters from side to side. Uh, we are about to head on the ramp. Car Guy has been thrown clear. We have also been thrown clear. Uh, we are going to have to reset. No option on that one. God, the bus was there. Uh, ow! We are not having a good lap. We've still got 48 health, which is something, but jeez. This lap has been poor. That's a hell of a wheelie uh, from Ick. That was, that was an immense wheelie right there. But, uh, okay, we may have to start driving. I can't see what my front left wheel is like. I'm trying to see what condition it's in, whether we are safe to continue riding the wall. I mean, we are kind of okay up here. Oh, God, get off the wall now. Last sec uh Oh, no. Come on, limo. Oh, fantastic. Uh, oh, crap. Hearse. Oh, well, never mind. The hearse hit the wingman. The wingman's going to come down there. We're going to... I mean, the... the God, Valitate is a long way out in front. But uh, the limo is a terrifying prospect, right? You do not want to be anywhere near near the limo in this race because it will do so much damage to your vehicle if it hits you. Uh, it is such a scary thing to see around the circus. So Valentine has an absolutely massive lead. Don't know what vehicle they're in. Can't remember. We get to the inside of Aaron and we will get that pass completed. Nine Tails is a very broken ball of metal. Uh, <laughs> it's just, it is still going. Is the stock car. Um, oh god, my vehicle's handling all sorts of handling issues. That's fine. Valentine has not been hit yet. Oh, I have a feeling someone hit the ring of fire. I don't know who it was. Uh, no, we have survived that. Not survived that. Well, anyway. Ah, oh, we lost a wheel. We are eliminated. Well, we're not actually out out. But, see, yeah, we were doing a bloody Tony Hawk grind on the rail on the landing. So, funnily enough, I had little control in the hearse. I should have just kept steering to the left, to be honest. Uh, we did kill the hearse. We have eliminated it from the competition. 
Uh, the race of attrition hasn't been as heavy in this as I expected. Especially because, I think it's maybe because we have all got heavyweights, they're actually surviving the crazy amount of punishment that is coming their way. I don't think mine is for much longer. But, uh, oh, my brakes are scary. Uh, well, funnily enough, when you're missing a front wheel, when you go on the brakes, it uh, kind of pulls about. We are going to need quite a few DNFs. I think Valetane may be out. Um, possibly. They have a huge, well, either they're out or they had a massive accident. Because certainly um, they are no longer leading. So car guy. Oh, 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 oh dear. Uh, uh, my steering's a bit balked. I mean, we are currently battling the bus for 10th. Uh, oh, we jumped over Danger Man and someone else. Oh, the bus hit someone very hard up there. That's eliminated whoever it was. Yeah, I mean, the bus is doing damage, so my car is low on health. We get hit again, we are out. However, bear in mind, the limo is very strong. If you hit it, it will probably kill you as well. So, yeah, you do not want to hit it. Oh, uh, typical, we hit the, we hit another limo. <laughs> car guy is one of the few vehicles that probably wouldn't have cared too much about that. Uh, however, they have lost the lead of the race. It's uh, Kezia that is leading the way now. Uh-oh. They have, might have screwed themselves over in that. Uh, I mean, they could have taken... Could have taken more damage. Could have taken less. Uh, yeah, the, you definitely do not want to hit the bus uh, if you can help it, really. Unfortunately, the leaderboard doesn't really seem to track while we're in this. Valatane is still going. So, well, it's Valatane that ate the bus. Um, and we saw that crash. Shadow's lost a wheel with their limo. Car guy, oh, he's almost eliminated. <laughs> Jesus, that hit that we did on car guy, because they did not have that little health, did they? That hit must have done some real damage to them. Aaron's got quite a lot of health, just not a fast car. Uh, JDM James is still going. Still going. I think it's going to be the hearse that does it in terms of a victory. I can't see. Oh, X lost a wheel. <laughs> I mean, a lot of cars have around here. Ninetales is stock car. Oh, there's a. Uh, what's it called? Cardinal in an awkward place at the top there. Uh, here comes the bus. Oh, it's gonna uh, crane. Oh, crane! Did not see who crane hit. I don't think either of them made it though. I just saw in the background cars spiraling through the air. Sorry, I was trying to get it. I was trying to get two to find out who it was, but crane and somebody else did a big smash on the jump. Ah, uh, I think Kezia has just finished and taken victory. Uh, it might have been Valatane that got killed um, on the jump. Could have been Car Guy as well. They both seem to be out now. Um, how many vehicles are still circulating is the question. Four. James is out. Valatane is gone. Car Guy went. Crane's gone. The bus is out. It's going to yeah, Kezia wins. Aaron is second. And then it is what's left of a Star Beast. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's not very healthy. And what's left of a limo that is equally not very healthy. And I now can't select the number 12 option. Okay, there we go. Uh, oh, you're being escorted by the AI limo. Uh, AI hearse, sorry. Go on. <laughs> if the AI hearse manages to kill you, it'd be hilarious. But it has made its way past, at least. Ugh. I mean, Hellride never fails to disappoint. I, it didn't go well for me. However, it was spectacular. Um... Yeah, we only end up 12th. Lado, we saw Lado was really unlucky at the start with some lag, uh, which pretty much wrecked their vehicle. Ewan went out quite... Ewan was doing quite well. That Vandal was quite fast up until it got wrecked, and it wasn't. Uh, Vandal just wasn't strong enough. The hearse... Well, me and the hearse killed each other pretty much on that one. Um, unfortunate, but that is the way that... Uh, the way that it goes sometimes. Ah... Uh, Shall we go? I mean, we actually haven't gone to... We haven't done Deathloop in a sensible, se with sensible cars for a while. I'm happy to have a go at Deathloop with some B-class cars. Uh, we often do it with silly vehicles, which is great fun. But I'm happy to give it a go with some sensible cars as well. Actually, I quite, quite like the circuit. I mean, it is, it's mad, but it's not completely balmy. <laughs> if that makes... A modicum of sense. Which probably doesn't. Uh, I mean, we're going to go for the old faithful. It's a fast estate car. 
what more can you want? It's a fast estate car that I like the way it handles in this game. Which is rare, because a lot of cars I don't like um, the way they handle in this game. So, yeah. Hello, Cass. Are you back again? I love how I can just say I, I, I talk to you, and you know when I'm talking to you. Because you always meow back. And I wish I could speak cat. I mean, I know what you want. You probably want food. You know. <laughs> you want food slash attention. Uh, you are very demanding. Sometimes I think you're more attention-seeking than the dog. Just in a different way. When the dog wants attention, it is big and loud and, you know, <laughs> headbutts you. Well, say how big cat headbutts you. It's just a lot more a lot more delicate, just a lot nicer, a lot calmer. Uh, with you. Aren't you just going to sit next to me? Right, can't move my chair, otherwise I'm going to bump into a cat because he has to go and... Uh, sit as close as possible to me in the dark office where I can't really see him very well. Um, okay. I mean, vehicle selection, most of it pretty sensible. Bus, not sensible. The RS squad is back a little bit here. I mean, we're part of it this time as well. Uh, we've got the Hammerhead, Panther, Boomer, and Rammer RS. Oh, and Lado has a Hammerhead RS as well. And, oh, there's another Rammer down there. Yeah, the RS squad is back in full force. Uh, <laughs> Uh, that's, this sure, that can, it'll go fine. It'll, uh, it'll go well. I am sure of it. Uh, I mean, I would say, you know, much like every other time we run here, you've got to take the loop. To be fair, I suspect you will be anyway, because the loop is the faster way to go around this circuit. So the only time you'd be avoiding it is if you could be physically taking it anyway. Uh, we are on the outside for turn one. I mean, may lose a couple of places, or they get squeezed a bit through there, but that's okay. We've come out the other side relatively nicely. Uh, oh, Shadow is in the middle of all of this mayhem. We are also involved in the tangling. Right, who has got more speed in the loop? Uh, not me, by the looks of it. The Nexus, the Nexus, to be fair, are very, very quick. The, only, the main downside for the Nexus is it will not hold up well to contact, which, I mean, it will happen a bit around here. Probably, again, this is not, as mad as it is with normal cars, this is not traditionally a high attrition circuit. Uh, now, you're going to drive like that. Now, I can tell you what's going to happen. Uh, you are going to get punted, if not by me, by someone else. But it certainly will, oh, it certainly will be by me that time. I apologise to Car Guy who got caught up in that one. Um, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> Drive like that, you there will be retribution. And oh, I'm going to try to spin on the loop because that's the really good way to kill someone. Um, the retribution will be greater than the initial initial one. Ah, uh, oh, damn it. Couldn't get the, couldn't get the, uh, couldn't get the spin. Well, that seems to, have done, seems to have done the job. Oh, that was close. Uh, unfortunately, Car Guy was a innocent, an innocent victim in all of that. Hey. We got a drift tap on the wall. That's fine. Uh, right. Can't really catch the Nexus. They're not really... Ex I say not really expecting to. Um, yeah, they are They are strong. Uh, we will hope for... We will hope for a little bit of craziness uh, up ahead. Oh, God. We might be the craziest up ahead, depending on... Oh, we really struggle on the loop with this. Oh, bus. Didn't know if we were going to run into that. Grab the brakes just to make sure uh, on that, because... That is the last thing that you want to. Uh, you don't want to get. You don't want to get stuck on the bus on the loop. That will be a bad time. We are to the outside of Crane. Crane, like naturally, you just understeer to the wall on the exit there. Crane did a great job and gave us plenty of room, which is nice. Big battle currently going on for third. Oh, I've got the third in point all wrong through there. Uh, we are in a bit of an awkward spot. Oh. God, this really struggles on the loop. I'm surprised. I don't know why. This is one of the worst vehicles I've ever had on the loop, to be fair. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, he's really struggling on it. Uh, we will draw alongside Crane. God, I don't know why it's so bad up there, but it really is. So again, we're to the outside. This time Crane is far enough ahead. They can essentially slide across and block the run that we were wanting. 
I do anything about it? Oh, Crane is now on that super tight line. I think it's like, this is almost like just doesn't matter because, oh, Lado nicked one of the cars up ahead. This is so slow around the loop. Look at the gap Crane can pull. Oh, Lado with a massive shunt and Danger Man also with uh, trouble. Danger Man gets wiped out by me and someone else. I'm not sure who the other car was. Um, we absolutely eliminated. Oh, and that's off the roof of Aaron. And uh, not Aaron, sorry, that was that was it. Um, that yeah, that is very unfortunate for Danger Man. We were busy with our battle with Crane, and yeah, Danger Man got attacked by my estate car and by someone else. I, as I said, I don't know who it was. Uh, in all of that, it might have been it. It may have been someone else. Uh, up to the loop we go, very slowly around it, and there is someone who's got caught in there. Valentine has lost some time. I mean, the damage has has come later on in this race. I mean, it does. As I said, it isn't the heaviest attritional race, but chaos can happen, and currently it is. Can we catch Aaron? I mean. With the way this race has gone, a seventh wouldn't be too bad. Uh, Ewan is leading the way. We've got another wrecking assist. I'm going to presume... I'm going to presume Danger Man is unfortunately eliminated. I don't know who else we may have had crashes with. Uh, well, there's not a very big gap getting on the loop. We almost wiped out one of the cars coming up with it. Uh, there's a few vehicles eliminated on the loop. Nine Tails takes victory. There was a huge gaggle of cars and someone got hit in it. Don't know whether it's a car. I think it might have been Valentine. Possibly. Uh, we will cross the line. Oh. I, yeah, like I don't think I could have done much more than that. Really, we didn't struggle. We struggled for speed, and I think all of that was on the loop. My car. I mean, it's quick in the corners, but for some reason, that car was terrible on the loop. Um, Danger Man. Danger Man still ended up fourth. So. The fair play recovered well from a brutal death. Uh, victory would go the way of Nine Tails. You and second, uh, James third. The Nexus led for a long time and was quick, but I'm going to guess it got hit somewhere and dropped back. Yeah, Danger Man was very unfortunate, uh, but still got fourth. Crane's car actually not bad around there. We couldn't really. We we kept up around the entire lap, but as soon as we got to the loop, we would just lose stacks of speed. Absolutely stacks. Which was weird and unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> oh, right. Shall we? Oh, we haven't been here. You know what? We haven't been here today. Bonebreaker Valley. Can, again, can get some genuinely, genuinely good races around this circuit. Uh, me and Danger Man had a very good race in the tournament we did. I say fairly recently. Uh, so yeah, can get some very close racing around this one. Um, let's go and see what might happen. I don't know what I want. Uh, do I want the hammerhead? I mean, we could go bring out the round. The road cutter... I mean, the road cutter is what I used, and somehow it wasn't terrible, but I suspect the jump is going to be the issue. Uh, I mean, the rammer might put up a bit more of a fight if there is contact. Hold on, is that Nexus really... Oh, no, that's at one cornering, because that's the one with the jelly suspension. <laughs> that, oh, no. Game. Game, game. Game, game, game. Come on. Load. Thank you. I will go and I will take my rammer. I will take my much nicer driving. You know vehicle uh and one that may survive that's that's the thing here uh if you are this is one of those tracks you don't actually want to get too far out ahead if you do there's a really good chance that you will be hit in the crossover chaos essentially you want to lead by the smallest margin and the pack to be really close together because that will be your best charm that'll be your best bet of surviving chaos uh We will see. We will see. Because there is definitely... I say there's definitely going to be chaos. I don't think there is any way there isn't chaos here. Because... 
It's the nature of this circuit. Probably not as high a rate of attrition as Hellride, of course. But you never know. Uh, <laughs> actually, no, we've, we've never seen like three cars finish at this track. But there will be a few DNFs. My game is being terrible. Well, it's just doing it. It's just doing it. I'm going to freeze for a few seconds, give you a minor heart attack, and then load. Um, and it has. I got a couple of people changing cars. I mean, to be fair, that C Class Raiden has been surprisingly competitive, so. It's not actually, I say it's not that bad. It'll probably be alright uh, again around here. School bus, that's going to be a fun one to deal with. It won't be quick, but it is going to be essentially a rolling obstacle. And a rolling obstacle that will hit you really hard. Uh, <laughs> Lado is braving the road cutter. Uh, I mean, it might work. Night Owls is braving the killer bee. Uh, little liked cars are sketchy. Though, yeah, I don't like... Mm, killer bee's alright. It can be real sketchy to drive. Uh, um... I'm, I feel like it's one of those cars that can be fast. I'm just not good enough to be able to get the most out of it. That's that's the downside of it, really. Ooh, now that is a nice spot on the grid for us. We are off and underway. Uh, we will go the other way to a Lado. Now... I, the game expects you to cross over here, which is not what I'm going to do. Danger Man might have done. No, Danger Man followed us. Uh, now, we will go around. So you can take out the fence. My theory is by going around it, we get a straighter exit and more speed down here. Uh, which kind of works. I mean, we've beaten Danger Man uh, down here. Uh, Danger Man is going to try and duck underneath with the Stella. Oh. But we are going all where we try and make this work on the exit. We are still side by side with Danger Man. Oh, there's a boomer. That is a long way. That is a long way down. Uh, not, I don't know. But I knew there was, I knew it was a battle. I didn't realize it was that far down. Danger Man unlucky being stuck on the outside. So while the field, the field spread is starting to happen quite quickly. That is, oh. Well, <laughs> I mean. That's, a, that's, that's an idea from Ewan. I didn't think there was going to be a car firing up the inside. I suspect Ewan wouldn't have gone that. Oh, God. Someone else over the jump heading towards it. I don't think Ewan would have gone for that if he realised what way I was turning. But uh, the natural racing line is that, essentially. Uh, that mini is very quick, though. Uh, yeah, the natural racing line is to swing across as much as possible, of course. Um, but, yeah. I don't think Ewan realised quite... Well, Valentine sent it, but it didn't really do much to the rammer. It's cost them considerably more tyres. Oh, that's a huge... That was a huge flip. I presume it's just lag for Lado. Because, uh, yeah, you wouldn't be able to carry on like that. Uh, we are around the hairpin. We are chasing a mini. Oh, God. Cross traffic is about. Ninetales has lost out in all of this. Lado is to the lead of the race. Ninetales is going to take this way. Uh, I wasn't quite going to go this way, but we were going to end up... I mean, <laughs> that was basically... I saw the angle of the car, realised, oh god, someone's had a bad time. Well... <laughs> I've, I've been slowed down, but at least I'm not having as bad of a time as that. Uh, Lado is... a fair way out in the lead. Me and Ninetales have had a bad lap around. Oh no, Nine, well, Ninetales has had a terrible lap, because Ninetales is eliminated. The Boomer is running up ahead on three wheels. I wonder if that lost a wheel early on. That's why it fell back and was in an awkward spot. Uh, quite possibly. The field is super spread out. This is a really awkward one trying to deal with where everything is uh, around here. That is a lap down car as well. Although it has a full complement of wheels, which is good. Uh, oh, something has just been spat across the track. I don't know what that was, but whatever it was, didn't have a great time. We've had a better lap. It's not going to matter. Even if we are going relatively quickly at the moment, that won't help. But uh, we're not going to have enough. If, you know, if we are lapping two, three tenths faster than the car ahead, it's never going to be enough to catch. We've absolutely sent it through here. Maybe a bit too much. Uh, Danger Man is there's a big battle going on behind us. Uh, the Mini got chased across the track. 
by something. Uh, that's going to go that way. That's fine. We should we should be clear of that. Whatever it is is on three wheels. I think that's the Gremlin or whatever. I, I think I hit that very hard um, on a previous lap, and I think that's ailing. But we are clear of it now, and this is the final lap of the race. Barring any massive weirdness into this final corner and anything down this straight, it can happen. So far, we have mostly avoided it, and it looks like we will again. Lado is going to claim victory here. Ewan is second. We will get on the podium. That is something. Um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty close between all the top cars in that one. The road cutter, the fastest lap of the race. Uh, yes, actually, it was. Night Owls was wrecked. That, and, well, as we said, the downside of the Killer Bee is it's small and light, and, well, it got hit, it got heavily broken, and it did not survive uh, amazingly well. Yeah, that was the Gremlin missing its wheels and very unhappy. The Raiden may actually have made the finish just in all of that. It did. Oh, the Gremlin is eliminated. Ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> Let us say the trick to winning is avoid Alex at all costs. I mean, yeah, probably the trick to winning is avoid everyone at all costs. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, that the roadcaster was gen was genuinely very quiet. My round wasn't bad, you know. There's only a few of us in the 29s, but there's, there's you know a lot of cars quick uh, around here. Um, yeah, I didn't quite have the pace of the top ones. We were just we 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 might have a good lap and they might have a bad lap. We might go, in, but generally speaking, we were just. Not quite fast enough. Um, right, it is that time. It is that time for madness. Where we go bus racing. Uh, uh, let us begin. The joys of bus racing. Uh, now, the death loop is considerably more insane when it comes to bus racing. So the buses are going to be stock, of course. You also must drive the loop. Now, the buses can make it. The buses absolutely can make it around the loop. But to do this, you have to be full throttle pretty much from the hairpin to the loop. You have to have a perfect run from the hairpin to the loop if you even if you are just banging doors with somebody if you get slightly spun you will not make it around the loop because the buses are not quick enough hell sometimes you can be full throttle and if you don't if you get your gears slightly wrong you can struggle with the loop so you've got to be really quick and if you can't go if you aren't going fast enough and you fall off the loop you will block it you will wreck so you know you must take the loop if you can however if you get if you get pushed around if something's going wrong on your approach to the loop I, uh, it's probably best to avoid it because <laughs> otherwise you are going to block it. And that being said, that being said, like e the early laps, it's easy to make contact in the loop, lose speed, and fall off of it. The the loop is likely to have trouble. Should be interesting, that's for sure. I think it is going to be very interesting as to what sort of madness is going to unfold. How many buses are going to finish? Losing a wheel sucks around here. Uh, <laughs> it does happen. Uh, oh, I might do. I just did see. Uh, seeing as last time I did, we did bus racing. But everyone had a bus that was faster in a straight line than me. So I'm going to not make the mistake. Well, I don't know. Certainly when we did Hellride last time, there were some buses that were very fast in a straight line. And <laughs> while everyone is in a stock bus... Uh, that's... I don't know where... It might actually... It might hinder you on the loop here. I don't know. Um, but we shall see. Uh, around here, I don't think it's going to make too much difference. Hell ride, it might make a little bit of a difference. Uh, just for that top end to, to make the jump. Uh, but we will see. It might make this thing terrible now. We are just waiting for Ewan. Somebody go and... Shout at Ewan on this one. Or we just crash into you and when the race gets underway. That's also a distinct possibility. I mean, it's probably going to happen anyway because, let's face it, um, 
there's there's going to be some problems. Oh, there's gonna there's gonna be a lot of contact early on. We are ready. We are underway. Oh, we are at the very back of the race. I mean, it's not the worst position in the world. There is. I, I'm already looking at this, going. I am probably not going to be able to take the loop, regardless of my feelings about wanting to. The chances are. We are going to be shuffled away from it. Chances are there's going to be a crash. We're going to have to go on the brakes and we are just not going to be able to take the loop, take the flat out approach. I don't know. We will have to wait and see how it goes. Everyone has been pretty neat and tidy down here. Now, I don't have to change gear, but we have been slowed down. Yeah, so, whoa. The yeah, extended gears work. You are just around the loop in third, basically. You don't have to change down a gear. Uh, which is quite nice. We are on the outside uh, through here. Uh, I'm trying to not eat the uh, outside wall, but that will work nicely. We are up in a position. We're into eight. We're into turn one, and you're an idiot who has fallen over, and Karma has got the better of you, and it didn't really affect me at all. Uh, <laughs> Danger Man leads the way. Nine thousand in the third. Not sure who's that in second. Uh, well, Come on, bus. Oh, Nine Tails has been hit quite badly. Uh, we may struggle with this loop. We're getting speed up around here. We do not have the best of runs. We will make it, but only just. Oh, dear. Kasia has caused us some grief. The loop's a problem. The loop's broken. Yeah. A lot of buses took some damage. I, you, you're not going to make the loop from that, from that lower a speed. Uh, it's just not going to work. We are battling away with Shadow and Car Guy. Uh, right. Casey is dead. That's what that wrecking assist will be for. So, now the loop is of questionable uh, use, I think, is, is going to be the best way to describe it. Uh, it's. Oh god, the loop's blocked. Now, the leaders may not know about this yet. They may not have seen that. In fact, as they went past, they probably didn't. I don't know if we can get off the loop. Uh, I don't know if we can. I think the loop might be completely blocked. Oh, we've definitely murdered a crane. Uh, that's not handbrake. Can we even get on the loop? I don't even think we can get on the loop at the moment. Uh, <laughs> that, does, that does not look passable. Now, what might happen is as this lap goes on, that may, they may shuffle and sort themselves out. Uh, but I don't know. We've caught up with uh, Aaron. Oh, no, so we're battling Danger Man for position. Although well, Danger Man is down to three wheels. I think Danger Man had a falling off of the loop. I don't know if that loop is even... That loop is not passable currently. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Unless the leaders clear it outward, I don't think they're going to, because I don't think it's, it's passable. Uh, I don't think there's actually a way through. The only way would be to really hug the left-hand side wall. Uh, there is a bus going to try it. I don't think we can do that. I mean, if we go up it, we wreck. Uh, oh, no. We can't make it now, because we've lost all speed. Me and Shadow can't make that one. Ewan's leading the way. Uh, I was trying to figure out what the line through there is. I think... Whatever it went through it may have cleared it in that. Oh, bloody hell. The exit of that is going to be awful. There's a line on what would be the left-hand side. I think it's that Ninetales is about to go clear it. Well, Ninetales has actually cleared it. Okay, it might be doable this lap around. We've got to try it. We've got to try it. Uh, Valete and you are in a battle. They're on the loop. It does look like it may have cleared enough. I mean, uh-oh. I fear we may have murderized and brutalized an Aaron on that one. <laughs> uh, right. I think the loop is now doable. It looks like there is a gap for a bus. Come on, come on, come on, bus. There we go. Yeah, the loop is doable. Oh. Yeah, it, it can be completed, although we did just... We did then chuck the green bus in the way of everybody but you can get around. The exit's a little scrappy, but you can get around. We will go behind whoever that is. Danger Man's still circulating on three wheels. Uh, right. What is going to happen? Oh, is that... 
you and on the loop, someone was super close to having a bad day. They didn't, but they were very close to having a terrible day. Uh, we are catching up to Aaron. Will Aaron... Aaron is not going for the loop. Oh, I'm not going to be going for the loop either. I'm out. <laughs> Uh, if I'd booted it or if I braked, we were getting hit there regardless. Um, Valentine has fallen over. Valentine's hit Aaron. Ewan's lost a heap of time in all of this as well. Uh, Valentine is going to win with a heavily crippled vehicle. Valentine wins. Ewan is going to get second. Aaron is going to get on the podium. Uh, Shadow is going to take the fourth from us. Yeah, whatever, wherever we went there. I'm not sure who hit us. Actually, whoever it did is out as well. Um, might have been Ick. I don't know. Because they weren't... They didn't, yeah, didn't see who it was. Um, could have been Finland as well, actually. Um, but there we go. Well done, Valentin, for claiming victory in the buses. That was more like the mayhem that you expect from Hellride. Uh, from Hellride. From Death. From the Death Loop with the with the buses. Yeah, it, it started going wrong. We had no other option but to avoid the loop a couple of times. Once it was clear, though, we could take it. Um, actually, there's only two of us sub 50 second lap. You and me did run into the fort. Well, I ran into a 49. You were even faster. But didn't do me much good. <laughs> that was actually quite a heavy rate of attrition. Um, you can sometimes get relatively clean rate. You, know, you, lo you lose a few, but that was that was serious. Um, serious rate of attrition right there. This is going to be more, though. And this is going to be worse. It is the legendary Hellride in buses. Probably the toughest, most destructive of races. Again. The same rules stand. You must take the jump if at all possible. There's a, you know, there will be buses that avoid it. There will be pushing and shoving. There will be times where you just physically can't. But you've got to take the jump unless you physically can't. Um, the, the buses, they, they're going to damage stuff. <laughs> they're going, there's going to be... If more than four buses finish, we're doing quite well. I think the most we've ever had is 10, but that was a one-off. Um, I don't think... I think we had about that many at one point. Um, I mean, whether we will get... We might get less than three finishes. We've we've had one race where technically no one finished, but Ninetales only did it intentionally Ooh. because they were the last one standing, basically. Um... <laughs> So, yeah. Um, a couple of buses finishing is, is realistically very possible if things just go mad. Uh, JB, thank you for the super chat. Uh, say thanks for the Friday dinner entertainment. Ah, well, I am glad you can be enjoying some, some breakfast with dinner. Also, a wool alert. I will read that one in a minute. Oh, three wide up here is disaster inducing. And it's me. Well, it's disaster inducing for me. However, that could have gone worse. The only reason I say that is while we fell over and we lost, we actually didn't take very much damage. So I'm not that displeased. Well, I say I'm not that displeased. I don't like the fact that I fell off. But I only lost 17 health. That's quite good. Um, now, I am hoping with these longer gears, we should be able to do this jump. We can. Uh, don't know who that was. Oh, really? Oh, well, never mind. My race is done. So, on the, the landing of the jump, we hit a stricken bus. And despite the fact that my vehicle is barely damaged, I lose a wheel. Despite the fact that we've barely taken any damage at all, we have... Thank you, Crane. I mean, I can't really blame you for that one. I have no steering anymore. And you have also come off worse than we did. Um, I am basically just a moving hazard now at this point. Uh, we are just a complete moving hazard. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Things have gone poorly. 
How on earth am I alive? Uh, yeah. Bad things have occurred for me and for Crane as well, but mostly for me. If we don't finish this race, I'm, I'm going to say that. On lap two, with two life, there is very little chance that we finish this race. <laughs> Hello, Nine Tails, with your full health. Uh, I'm amazed we survived that. We got hit so many times. Crane is also having an absolute shocker, much like me. Um, yeah, I mean, we are here now. I'm not gonna, I can't take that jump quickly. Uh, oh, you know what? Jump over us. I don't want to get landed on. I don't want to get crashed into, because, uh, you know. I need some other buses to go out so we can get higher than 15th. And we do. Zombie Gent is removed from the race. Like, I'm going to stay out of the way as best as I can on these corners. I'm not battling for position. I am irrelevant in this race as far as any of the higher runnings go. The only way we improve our position is vehicles being eliminated. So if we can just stay alive for as long as possible, that would be the dream. Oh god, my steering's so bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be... I, uh, my vehicle pulls randomly and it's not a vehicle you want to be around in narrow, important sections of the track. Uh, I will... Like, I'm, I've still got to... Oh, hello. I've still got to complete the, you know, I've still got to do the required parts of this, uh, but, oh, I was going to try and get out of the way of you, but you know what, you you can go past, Cra I'm going to go to the inside here, I'm not going to take that, that high line, that, that much preferred racing line, because uh, I don't want to get in their way, I don't want to give them any reason, uh, like, you see, for example, Crane will get roughed up if they stay up there, um, I am just sort of hugging the inside, stay out of the way. I mean, I don't have the steering, really, to do much about it. But uh, there we go. We are still only 40. Still surprising number of buses. Uh, you know what? Crane is now eliminated. I've got to say, uh, Casey may not have wanted to be particularly patient with me up there, which would be understandable. Oh, dear. no. Oh, no. I'm out. Ah, <laughs> I was trying to avoid the head-on collision, but my vehicle was so broken. No, 13th was all we could manage in that one. It was never, it was never looking great for for that, really. There's just nothing. I don't know how, how on earth is Casey. I guess because they only they slid down the road on their side. Yeah, it's just <laughs> what more could we do? What more could we do at that point? Oh, Shadow hit the wall. Got away with it. Bounced off of it and survived. Danger Man, though, with a great run. Danger Man, yeah. Had to avoid it. No one then found Crane's wreck. Ewan fell off the jump and hit somewhere very hard. So I think Night Tails is leading the way. As far as I'm aware. Can't. I uh, have to go back here. Yeah, Night Tails is leading from Small Man. I mean, that's all very well and good. Oh, Small Man, I think, is going to end up having to miss the jump. However, all it takes is one big hit somewhere and you will be in trouble. Uh, where is Small Man? Oh, they, they had to avoid the jump. Danger Man has, has... Oh, God! Danger Man took the jumps, lost a wheel. I think that was James that was uh, smacked in that one. Ewan is still going with quite a lot of help. Oh, it's Finland Ball. Finland Ball's quite poorly. Shadow's still going. Uh, oh. Ick is still running. This is probably the main battle on the track at the moment. Danger Man is probably the next bus to uh, succumb to the damage here. Oh, that's a lot of fighting for position coming off of there. I feel like this might go badly on the ramp. Uh, yep, that's going badly. for oh, Especially for Danger Man. Danger Man's gone. Ewan is not eliminated, but took a big hit. Oh, Ninetales is in trouble! <laughs> <laughs> oh, big fit for Nine Tails as well. Lands on their wheels and carries on. I'm going to guess somewhere over the hill is going to come a Nine Tails. Uh, their driver looks very uncomfortable. Uh, I think Shadow may have been promoted to the lead of the race. They have. Shadow leads in a relatively healthy bus, which is astonishing. Followed by Nine Tails, followed by Small. So that's your top three. There's not too many still circulating. Valentine's is poorly. 
Uh, Casey is, is actually surprisingly healthy. Ewan's also surprisingly healthy considering the uh, level of damage. This might actually be good for this lot. They might not suffer too much more... I say might not suffer too much more damage because there's, there's quite a few buses out already. These lot have actually got surprisingly large amounts of health. So... Um, yeah. Cray, do not worry. You didn't make me lose a wheel. I hit a stationary bus and somehow pinged a wheel off of it, and I don't quite know how we did. Oh, Shadow. Oh, that was a huge accident. I think that might have been a hit with Casey, but I'm not sure. I think it may have... Oh, small man's going for the lead. Dive to the inside of Nine Tails. Although, it's a good dive, but Nine Tails will have more speed through the next part. Shadow is still alive. Nine Tails is going for an interesting line down there. He's going to dive and try and get back. It doesn't quite work, and Ninetales takes a whole heap of damage here. Side by side, heading towards... Oh, no, that was across the line. That was the final lap of the race. Good move from, from Small Man right there. Shadow unlucky with a huge amount of destruction at the end there. Valentin is still going. That's a surprising number of buses still running at the end. Uh, yeah, Ninetales tried... I, I thought they had one more lap to go. I miscounted, misremembered how many laps they were, they were on. Um, yeah, small man sent it and uh, <laughs> made it work. Nine tails, a bit unlucky. I mean, nine tails with the f not the fastest lap of the race. That would go the way of Danger Man. We didn't really even get a clean lap out of all of it. Uh, so, uh, it's going to be six finishers. There was there was a lot of buses running for longer than normal in this one, but by the end of it, we still came down to six. Uh, which is about a normal amount. Valentine is going to make it to the finish line. Uh, and, oh, got a clonk from a uh, from an AI bus, but did make it. Uh, we will have one more race. We'll have one more race on the on, on here. Mostly because I'd like to actually take part. Uh, but, you know, you can't go wrong with Hellride with buses. A-Rod, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, yeah, your vehicle appears to be busted. You're going to get a boo. Uh, <laughs> I was saying, don't worry, I'll boo myself for that one. You absolutely deserve it. Uh, <laughs> you absolutely deserve it. Drake, thank you very much for the nation. So this is a reminder to Miss Alex that apart from missing some car jokes from me, the next, the next, next time you do, I'll be sending reminders to Carly about making you drink as much coffee as she can provide. Uh, P.S. I'm sorry to do this to a fellow tea drinker. Hey, come on now. I mean, there, there are, so there are, there are times I don't mind coffee. Um, it's just, I don't mind coffee, it's just tea is better. Um, it is, it is just tea is better. Uh, also, oh, that's just where it came. Uh, jokes, jokes were they saying, why, why do Ford make tractors and Ferrari don't? Because Ferrari couldn't get anything they make to run that slow. They can, it's called their Formula One car. <laughs> um, with the, the odd occasional moment of it not being completely terrible, which does happen briefly. And then it goes back to not being very good. Um, <laughs> uh, Piers, uh, 1P was down, but now back. Well, it was down. It's now been removed. A-Rod has gone and, and taken the 48. The 48 cult is back. Um, of course. Right, buses are ready to go. We have a new person. If you have... I presume you are someone in the stream. I do not know if you are. I, I generally presume you are if you're taking part in this. If you are, you're about to have a baptism of fire. Uh, I think it is safe to say here. Uh, it is about to be... Uh, messy is probably going to be the best way to describe it. Of course, you must be taking the loop, if at all possible, with these. Not the loop, the jump. I mean, it's worse. It's way worse than the loop. I'd rather take the loop than the jump here. The jump is just dangerous. Uh, right, Ewan is the last one. Of course. And we will play the wonderful game. Chat, how many buses are finishing this time around? Are we going to see more or less finish than last time around? I... I reckon, I reckon it'll be less. I reckon in the attempts to outdo the previous round, I think we're going to see... Oh, this is not a good spot on the grid. You either want to be first or last. 
yeah, feel like those are your best options, really. Uh, the problem you get, uh, we might not be terrible. So if you go two by two, it's fine. Three wide is where it's a death sentence. Uh, we've had not a bad start, so we can, yeah, we can we can make it through on that, and it's relatively okay. Uh, I wanted to go take the line up the top. We're gonna get the slingshot off of it, but we're gonna get stuck in traffic. We're gonna get stuck uh, behind everyone, even with the, all of the speed. This is a, there's gonna be a lot of in-air contact, I think. Oh, and physics just decided I would be the unlucky party. No, uh, we're not even gonna land on the wheels. Yeah, physics just decreed. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> At least I got all my wheels this time. That's a small crumb of comfort in this, is that all the wheels survive. Uh, I just cannot catch a break in this one. There is just no luck to be had for me. Now I don't know how, you, how I want to drive this. Because... Okay, so we're not going... We can't... I'd say we've got no luck for us, however, the black bus is even worse. Uh, whoever that was, the Balatane or Finland, uh, for they are the ones driving the, the black buses. So you go in that way, it's no problem. You'll take the jump and you won't damage yourself. I don't know whether we damage ourselves. See, I'm not going to risk it, right? I'm not risking this jump. So you and you want to go past? I think I will just break myself doing that. So what we'll do is we'll back off a bit, although... No, never mind. Our attempts at backing off were fine, and it we, we saved us. However, Casey landed on the back, and that took the rest of our help. Despite the fact that that was the most... Uh, what's the word for it? Minute of contact. On the back, and that absolutely wrecked the bus. Oh, dear. Ewan and Peanut have had a bad time there. I am very concerned that we just get hit here and our vehicle is eliminated. Uh, oh. Uh, oh, hello, Valentine. <laughs> I have a feeling, oh, I have a feeling the ramp was a bit busy. Uh, I'm now down to one hit point. I do not want to be here. Uh, this feels bad news for me. You know what? Yeah, we were three wide. I was dying on that one. <laughs> uh, oh. And yeah, they're too wide, has gone poorly. It was just going to end in, in my demise. I mean, we are currently only fighting overnight. We're miles off the leaders, but we are alive. We are alive. That is the little crumb. We've just again got to this whole survive point. I don't really like the fact that we are at the survive point, but that is where we are at here. Um... I'm slightly worried we're just going to get pushed at some point on this bit. Uh, oh, that is... Oh, there we go. I think a lot of buses are about to die. <laughs> Danger Man is a hat. Uh, yeah. I don't know who... I think it was Aaron. I think it was the leader, actually, that has been... Oh, Shadow. No, you've survived that one. God, Crane has, has taken... A... There's a great battle. I would love to be involved in that. Look at that. That looks great fun. However... It's just, yeah, <laughs> it's just, there is no, no hope for us to uh, be able to do anything uh, when we lost 80, 80 hit points in one crash and a small bump took away 18 more. There was always going to be problems. So who is actually leading? Zombie is leading, Nine Tails is second. So there is our leader. They've got quite a good amount of health. Nine Tails is second, relatively clear. Then there's just a big gaggle of buses that is making life awkward for each other. Um, Shadow still got a full accompaniment of wheels. Uh, it does not have a full accompaniment of wheels. Zombie oh, lands, survives nicely in all of that. Oh god, that looks like bad news for everybody involved. <laughs> made it. They all made it. And this, is, I think, is the battle to watch. Small man is up the wall. Ewan's trying to go even higher up the wall, which... Uh, it doesn't quite work. They're all slightly crabbing their way uh, along there. Small man is still... I think he's going to make the most of that and we'll probably get past Aaron. You and be able to carry the speed off of the banking. But it does mean now... Oh, there's James lost a lot of health. Oh, 
They are up and over the jump. Valentine having to take avoiding action. Uh, Ewan has passed a small man. Ninetales has caught up to the leader, but it's difficult to pass. It is it is not always so easy to pass around here. Oh, Ninetales had to... Well, Ninetales did a great job. Avoided Crane, still made the ramp. Is going to land relatively nicely. Lost a bit of time to, I think, Ewan. So Ewan is absolutely flying at the moment. Uh, is caught up to the back of Ninetales, carrying that momentum. Uh, zombie, unfortunate, tangled with Crane and lost a bunch of time. Still going. Still has enough, of course, life to keep going. Ninetales launching it around the banking. Does at least get off the banking nicely. No one falling over this time around. Ewan carrying a lot of speed. They're going to go side by side onto the ramp. This is brave or dangerous or madness. We will see what happens on the landing. Uh, or Ewan can slow it down and avoids the bright green wreck. Nine Tails makes a nice little bit gap because Ewan loses a whole load of momentum now going around there. Crane is... <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> ten out of ten on the accidental stunt. I don't know what was going on on the ramp. Uh, however, I'm so glad I changed the camera to that point. That was glorious. Managed to land upside down on another bus. Astonishing stuff. I mean, both buses are very badly broken. But, ast absolutely astonishing stuff right there. Uh, it now becomes a case of, can Ewan chase down Ninetales, or will there be any more wrecks, essentially, uh, through here? Zombie, not on the ramp. Uh, that wreck there is in an awkward, is an annoying place, certainly, to be dealing with. Valatane and Aaron are heading up onto the ramp. There's a little bit of a squeeze, but everyone gets away with it. Uh, I mean, if if Ninetales is an awkward point with Valentine, that's when there could be issues here. Uh, it's over the jump for the pink bus. Oh, God. Lands, lands well to avoid Crane and Ick. The dirt. Oh, a small man goes flying past. They're trundling their way over the ramp, and they are still going. I mean, they're missing wheels, and everything's a little bit poorly. Shadow's still going in an astonishingly good condition. How are you got that much health? Shadow's just been playing this one chill. Shadow's just been playing this one chill, staying out of trouble. I think Ninetales has crossed the line to take a victory in all of this. Ewan's crossed the line in second, uh, which is going to put Small Man in third. Aaron is fourth. More have finished this time around. Shadow, I'm going to presume Shadow was just trying to stay with as much health as possible, which works, but there just wasn't the destruction. I say that, it was still pretty heavy rates of attrition. We lost a bunch of vehicles. And Zombie survives. Zombie is going to survive that one, astonishingly. Although, I f do they have enough traction to get going? They do. Uh, they might well get bullied off the ramp by AI buses. Which would, I mean, is funny. Yep, they have been, although the AIs have then all exploded behind them. So they might get away with living a little bit longer. Uh, oh no, it's seven survived. Valentine and Crane are, are both both died at the end. Ick died. James, we didn't see. We saw he had low, no health, though. Uh, we just, <laughs> we could not catch a break. We could uh, not catch a break at all. It's how it goes sometimes, though, with this race. It's, it's, Hell Ride is spectacular. Bus with buses is especially silly, and it is just what occurs. I was desperately unlucky, but. That's how it goes. That That is how it goes. And unfortunately, that is going to be it for this evening's stream. I hope you have enjoyed some... some wreckfest. I've had a good time. We haven't had the luck with some of the stuff that we've done, but as I said, you know, that's what happens. We did have some genuinely very, very good races as well, which is... Uh, fantastic you know we had some we had some very good battles we did get a win at some point i can't quite remember exactly what race it was now but we did get a victory um in this and yeah we we had some really good battles uh which can't can't complain about that though is going to be it for this evening thank you all very much for watching a massive thank you to everyone who donated uh, it is uh, very very much appreciated indeed Good old Squawky Cat is here also to thank you. And of course, thank you all for, for watching, for spending your Friday afternoons, evenings, nights, 
maybe very early early Saturday mornings. Um, wherever you are, uh, I hope you have had a, a, a fun time watching this nonsense unfold. Uh, I'll be back on Sunday. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be streaming. Well, hopefully I should be back on Sunday. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to be streaming, but uh, that is the plan at the moment. So I hope you will be able to, uh, to join for that one. However, yeah, that shall be it from me. Until next time, uh, yeah, goodbye.